Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Wherever in the world you are, I am David Zane Ahrens, and I am streaming live directly to your brain. On this fine September day, I regret to inform you that I have been elected by secret committee to be this Twitch channel's benevolent dictator for life. Tonight's docket will include probably wrap-up on Guacamele Super Turbo Championship Edition in the first half of the show, and in the back half of the show we will be playing the new beta patch of 20XX, the Mega Man X slash Mega Man Zero series uh, roguelike sort of game. And now, Internet, I solemnly request that you rise to your feet, ask yourself timeless questions that plague all sentient life, like, why are we here? And where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? And how much class could Kardashians pass if the Kardashians had no ass? Lay a hand, preferably your own, but I respect your choices to your heart, and recite with me the latest revision of the Cyber Pledge. I am the player. I seek fun and entertainment. I deserve the respect, and indeed the righteous fear of developers and publishers everywhere. Entertain me, be honest with me, and I will pour out my wallet to you. Disregard me or treat me as a child, and you will wither in the sun. Let's play Guacamelee. Now, as I said, we will probably be tying up today. I'm pretty sure, because I think we have gotten 100% in every area except for the final one. And uh, I'm almost tempted to, I believe there's, when I was looking at the achievements list, I saw that there was an achievement for beating, no, I want to go to the costumes, for beating uh, the game dressed in Diablo's suit. And that does decrease our life, but I'm kind of tempted to do it. Uh, I think I'm going to purchase it at least, and we can make the decision about whether we wear it later. For now, I'm going to stick to the Alabrije suit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix Wings. I thought that one might get you. <laughs> and I believe I'd like to take a quick look around. Uh, so this will be a little slow because we're going to go check out a few places and make sure that we're actually at 100% in most of our areas. But I am fairly certain we are then ready to move on. And so, we'll want to get 100% in our final area. And that way we can actually get the achievement for 100%ing every area in the game. Because if we're going to be as obsessive about it as I have been... Let's see, we're 100% in Pueblucho. I believe we were definitely 100% in the mansion... Uh... La Mansion del Presidente, the Agave Field, I believe we 100%ed. Um, let's see, the Temple of Rain being a different color, it's the only thing that's a different color. Does that mean we, like, everything else is gold, that looks kind of bronze? Does that mean we did not get everything there? I could have sworn we did, but maybe we didn't. Let's get ourselves back to our teleporty head, which is the technical term, I believe, is teleporty head. But let's go check that out. Past this conquistador here. I would like to take a trip. Take me to the Temple of Rain. And I could have sworn we got everything here, but maybe, I, maybe we missed something. Yeah, 92%. We missed something here. So, what was it? And where do we find it? Um, I guess we wander around until we find it, and... Yep, wrong button. Yep, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Hello? Hello? Can you not break this thing from this side? Hello? Well, okay then. I guess we cannot go this way, because that is a one-way breakable block. I could have flown back up as a chicken, but sure, whatever. Now, let's see. I've got to keep my eyes open for any, like, chicken-sized passageways. And... Places that we might be able to slip off into other areas. 
Now, we I really didn't want to be doing... I thought we had gotten everything. I really didn't want to be doing this kind of uh, dithering again. But if this... If the guacamelee segment... Ouch! Of the show. I did not even see that there. If the guacamelee segment of the show runs a little long, that's fine. Because, honestly, I have not played a whole lot of... Uh, I've not played a whole lot of 20XX, I haven't played any of it since the beta patch, and I'm not very good at that game. I'm decent at Mega Man games, and it plays basically like a Mega Man game, but I'm mostly just interested in it, so... I suppose I could be chicken flying around here instead of this. I don't have to play your games anymore, game. I cannot remember... Oh, this is just the way we just could have gone up here. Okay. Well, it's good to check nooks and crannies, I guess. And... What do we have? Do we have any... We... We've already done this, haven't we? Does that regenerate? Yeah, that block has to regenerate, because I distinctly remember we even came back here last time in order to get the thing that was in that little nook down there. Yep. Oh, that reminds me, I think I also get an achievement for killing enemies with Poyo Bombs, so... They don't land here, though, so... <laughs> I have to actually do it on solid ground. But I believe I get an achievement for killing enemies... Uh, killing one enemy with a Poyo Bomb. So... Or Poyo Bomba. Forgive me my non-Spanish use there. <laughs> Blow up! Blow up, damn you. <laughs> Turning into Jamie Heineman from the Mythbusters. Quack, damn you! I don't see anywhere here that could lead me to where this missing thing needs to be. If I don't find anything soon, I will just uh, I will just look it up because I don't want to dither around looking for one tiny thing. I wonder could there be anything in here? Maybe on the sides that are not where you're expected to be falling, huh? Huh? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Is this... No? Okay. Well, how did I... Why did I go through that wall then? Yeah, because we're just back here, but... I totally just went through a wall instead of just falling. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. I think I just... See, you... It tricks me that you move over right... Here, the screen is giving the impression that I'm going somewhere. Well, okay. Huh. And the problem with looking it up is that if I look it up, I'll probably have to watch a whole video and go check most of the places because I don't remember where exactly we've gotten things. Huh. Where could something be? Because we already came here. I remember doing that last time. Um. Oh, wait. Did it not save? Because I distinctly remember we came... We noticed that there was a place up here that we'd come over to, didn't we? Weird. Maybe maybe it didn't save something last time, or I died without realizing that I had uh, not done a thing. Or maybe I'm thinking of one of the other areas, and we didn't in fact do this here. Maybe we did this in another area, and I thought we did it here. Which is entirely possible. In fact, it's probably pretty likely. Got everything? We got it? There we go. Yeah, yeah, here we are. There's a thing here. It's another piece of stamina. Probably the last piece of stamina, actually, I would imagine. 
Okay, so with that, we have 100%ed this area. Yeah, maybe we just didn't. Maybe we didn't come this way. Ouch. You jerk. You jerk. Stop it. I don't even have to kill you. Now I just want to for revenge, because you're a jerk. Okay, so... With that, let us return to our head. Our... Moai teleporty head and get on out of here thanks Phoenix Wings I uh, am glad that we actually figured that out because otherwise it would have annoyed me so Sierra Morena and back on to the Great Temple which was down over this way Because the Moai head here in Sierra Moreno puts us very close to the Great Temple area. Hey, Goat Man, you still just have to say, the Great Temple floats ahead. Yeah, make sure you're ready before entering. So he did say that last time. Well, not last time, but the time when we actually got to this point of the game. Oh, and, uh... How exactly... I assume they probably want me to Goat Fly. I could just, you know, Poyo. I could Chicken Fly. But goat flying will be faster. And also more dramatic. Look at this. We've got this zoom out happening here as we're getting closer and closer. Oh. That's like a Mega Man entrance where you enter Wily's castle. Totally looks like that. Okay, so... Supposedly, I would imagine, during all this, uh, we will find a couple of pieces of Intenso and one of Heart because that's how it looks according to what we have right now. Whoa! Hi there! Hammer time halted! Oh! I hate when you teleport like that. Stop it. I know that's your thing. Ouch! Stop it! Is that all you got? Bring it on. That's it? Come on, you can do better, Grand Kalaka. Oh, we got a chest over here hidden amongst... Sort of half-hidden amongst all of these barrels, which I don't need to break at the moment, actually. I suppose I should be checking around as we go along so I don't have to do too much more backtracking before we uh, actually end up fighting our big final boss. Okay, fine. I guess I can goat run if you want me to do that. I'm curious if there is actually anything in any of these things that it is telling me to look at. I will run over here. Yeah. I wonder what they actually expect you to do if you don't have the chicken fly at this point to get this. But, uh... Whatever they expect you to do, it is probably significantly easier for having the chicken fly. Or maybe you just have to have the chicken fly. Who knows? That's entirely possible. Oh! Hello! Get out of here. No, 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 no. I kind of like just knocking these guys over the edge because that saves me a good amount of time. Yeah. Hey, can you get... No, that's not the attack I wanted to use. I probably should not be doing this. I should be fighting them legitimately. So that... Go. Go away. Yeah! But, you know what? As long as we're here... Oh, hello! 
Hello, sirs. Ouch. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. No, no, no. Yeah. I need to... I need to do this uh, differently. And, like, better. <laughs> Ouch. No, no. Hey, you stay over there, buddy. Oh, and that one just backed off on his own, so that's nice! No, 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 no. You leave. Leave this place. Hey, you. Come on. Do I need to bait you this way? Can I bait you this way? Come on! We got catnip over here, Jaguar boy. so suspicious about things because I know there are a bunch of hidden things that we've kind of missed along the way. 28%. So we're we're doing things. We're getting stuff. They presumably expect me to goat fly over here. Yep, here's a little chicken passage over here. For a money chest. And, oh boy, another chicken maze! Woo! Gotta love these, don't you? No, we don't. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was not too bad, actually. All things considered. Um. What was the point of that, exactly? If it just... Was there no point to that? Is that really just... Oh, maybe we were supposed to come down this way and they didn't expect us to see the entrance over in the corner that we went in through that is considerably easier. Maybe that's all it is. Now you're thinking with portals. Oh, and you switch universes to switch portals. Okay. And... I'm assuming that they want you to, like, portal jump your way up there, but we can just fly up there, because... Yeah. No. Stop it. Stop that business. You are all so annoying, you stupid creatures. Why are you here? You're just getting in my way. Ah. Just this gauntlet. You, get on over there. Maybe I can hit the cactus with you. And I did! I did. passage that I missed that because I was focused on enemies like anything in the floor or ceiling that could be broken nothing up in this corner so suspicious so suspicious any 
anything in either dimension that I might have missed, I suppose. Normally it sparkles, but hey, you know. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. That makes my life easier, although... And thank you for doing that. Just killing yourself like that. Oh, I forgot about you. I forgot about Dre. Oh, I should not say that. That probably, there, I just, I'm just connecting dots, but that is probably not a cool thing to say, given the uh, unfortunate implications that that could have. So let's not do that. Ah, oh, I didn't even notice I was so low on health. Okay, then. Yep, y'all kill yourselves now. Y'all come on back now, you hear? Get on out of here. Big guy teleported now. No. No. Thank you for just removing yourself from the equation. That makes this a little easier to finish up. Should I be... I know they want me to run up this and do those tricks, like the platforming tricks I was using in order to collect orbs, but you know what? We earned the right to not have to do that based on all of this. And now we can just smash on through here. We're 42%. Looks like we've got a long way up to go to reach old Gran Calaca. So... Um, let's see, how do I deal with these guys exactly? Oh, do I have to beat up this dude first in order to open the way to them? Oh, ho, ho! No! Oh. I bet that's what I have to do. No, 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 no! Oh, well, yes, okay. It just takes a minute. You get on out of here. Was that just, like, the... The Mario Underworld notes were just referenced in the music there? Because I'm pretty sure... <laughs> all of the things with the things that do not hurt them. could goat run, but I like to defy the game designers on this one. <laughs> Once again, just gonna defy the game designers. I'm not a part of your system! You're not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me do that now. 
Okay, well here, I'll go land. Maybe they'll make me do this one because... Not that it's that hard. Yeah. Just frog slam on down through here. Play more with portals. Mm, I, that's definitely a chicken path over there on the bottom that I have to go to once I reach it somehow. Oh! No, you do not, sir. No, sir, you do not. Come on back now. You hear? Oh, come on back now, you hear? <laughs> oh, you jerks. One. More? You got more for me? No? That's it? Alright. Which way should I actually go here? I'm not sure. I'm sure they are both perfectly valid options. But I'm gonna start here, and then just probably run back up. I saw a headbutt place over there. Ah, that's where we were before. Let's drop into this little headbutt nook, nook, niche, cranny, place. Ooh. I see your game. In fact, I see your game very well. We've been prepared for this by the Devil's Challenges. We got this. Yeah! I expect that's the final health upgrade, actually. And I'm back up now. that da -na 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 -na. that Mario reference again I suppose I really don't even need to be fighting all these guys I could really just run past them because what are they even doing to me here? <laughs> They're just kind of standing in the way. Let's see. I'm sorely tempted. Yeah, I'm going to come back here. And just to be sure there's nothing sneaky up here in this corner. Because I don't think there would be. Yeah, I didn't think there would be. But you know what? We're not messing around with that. Again, with these platforming challenges, and it's like, yeah, you know, we could do this. We've done plenty of this. It would not be that hard, even. But, you know, screw you, game designers. I beat your game! <laughs> Is there anything up through here? No, that's just a little ledgy looking spot. Now this is just diabolical, because you cannot dodge as a chicken. Yeah. 
Yep. Let's just wait for that. All these spikes. So ominous. Just gonna let you guys work your own crap out right there. I want nothing to do with it. Um. Nope, I didn't even notice that that was a thing. Um, it teleported me past stuff, I think, but you know. <laughs> oh, and I probably can't do this, can I? Nope. I probably actually have to play at least part of their game, don't I? Do I have to, like, do a goat fly trick here, or, like, the... Because I think that's what they're expecting me to do. But exactly how is the question. What is it they are looking for? Because there's probably a way to cheese past this, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. got to get over there to 100% the area. That's for sure. As long as we're back in what I assume is the main shaft here. Or similar to it. Yep. We are one of the main shafts anyway. Might as well complete our way through. come down from there. Wow, I think we actually have to do this to move on with the game. I think this isn't even like a... This isn't even like an item thing. This is actually not like a challenge. This We just have to do this. But that means we have to figure it out. Because I don't think we can actually cheese this one. I think I get it now. At least part of it. This is going to be a little confusing, but... Oh, yeah, see, I'm getting there. I've got the right idea now. This is not too bad. I don't think. It looks way more intimidating than it is. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Oh, that's satisfying. Now I think we should just be able to cheese past this. Yeah, that was that was tricky to figure out at first, but it's really quite obvious once you get it. Like, once you're doing it. This looks like it would be a lot of fun. And I'm sorry, I know I'm just, like, cheesing past the game. I'm like, I could totally do all of this. I totally could do all of this. There is no way that I would fail out of this. Is there anything up here? No. Like, because we've done the hardest challenges in the game already getting the orbs. I think those are probably going to be way harder than what we're actually dealing with here. Yep. Once again, we could go fly over here, but... Like, we paid our dues to get this ability. We really did. 
do any of these happen to lead... Yeah, this is just, like, I was just wondering if any of them would happen to lead to that one that we saw earlier. Uh, and now we can knock our way down here. And then run back up so that we can go into that side passage. Because, yeah... This would probably also be more annoying, but for Chicken Fly. <laughs> but we can save ourselves a lot of trouble with our good old Chicken Fly abilities. Up to 85% in here. We're doing good. There's going to be a fight in here, I can tell. Oh no, you do not. Nah. Stop it. Ah. Yeah, really? Get out of here. Now it's time to deal with you, big guy. Come on. Oh, I just walked right into that. And I am low on health, so let's not do that. This looks like it would probably be pretty tricky. <laughs> Let's just walk right past that. Thank you. Thank you. I really should have goat flown to deal with that because now this guy... Oh, no, I managed. got bring it on <laughs> now I can get cocky now we're in the final stage of the game and we're just kind of rampaging through now is when the cockiness can happen and then we'll get to the final boss and we'll get our butt handed to us so hard I'm sure I'm totally sure um is this actually a side passage, or is this progress? <laughs> That's the question. Well, we're getting zoomed in. I feel like this is progress. Holy cow, we are zoomed in so far. Okay, hi! Hi! Ah. Stop it with your thunder and lightning. Yeah, you come on down here. Ah. You jerk. Don't like any of you. I think this is progress. 
I'm a little worried that this is progress. Yeah, let's uh, abandon ship here, because we're not quite ready for this. We have still got stuff to deal with. Or do you mean holy guacamole, Phoenix Wings? <laughs> that was probably your joke, actually, but hey. Um, I'm gonna keep flying? No? Well, obviously, we have to go back and do something to get into that one spot. Into that portal spot that we were visiting so long ago. Backtracking! Woo! Yeah. Let's not run into spikes, thank you. Let's see, where exactly was that spot now that I am thinking about it, that we had that little room? I don't remember how far down it was. Okay, well that's slightly problematic that we don't remember exactly where it is, but uh... We will find it again. Oh, you actually hadn't thought about the joke, but yeah, the... the... Well, let's go find that, because I am... I know we need to go do it, because that's obviously going to be our last uh, Intenso piece is where that's going to lead. Remember if it was over here this way? Over this way here? Over over this here way? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This is have some epic backtracking back to the top, aren't we? Yay! <laughs> At least on that way we won't have to be looking for stuff and we can just run straight on through. Where was anything? Ah, this was it. Oh, well, if only I had changed dimensions, that would have been so much easier. Who put these here, achievement? That means I have collected everything. In, rig in normal difficulty, anyway. Yeah, if I'd just, you know, changed dimensions here, then all of that would have been taken care of. Now, where's our quickest way back up? Right over here is our first... Yeah, just past here we can take our first long goat run up. And uh, Phoenix Wings, you did just barely misspell Guacamelee. You missed the last E. There are two E's on it. Oops. Guacamelee. <laughs> and we need to go around. Okay, we're not too far out actually. That didn't take very long at all. Now we can head back. This 
suppose I could fight some stuff just to build up uh, Intenso so that I actually have Ah! Help me! I forgot that I auto-roll when I <laughs> do that. Ah! Well, yeah, you die down there anyway. I'm just gonna chicken fly back up. <laughs> That's close enough to being full on our intenso meter. Dramatic chicken zoom in. Good, I'm glad these guys didn't come back. Now let us run up. Oh, and we could have... Uh, I guess we now, if we needed to go anywhere, still, this was our chance. This is it, buddy. I hope you're ready. May the gods look favorably on you today, Juan. This is your chance to stop Kalaka and restore balance in the universe. Got anything else to say? Good luck, man. You're on your own now. I'm too old for this. Alright. The Great Altar. Bring it on. Juan! You have to get out of here. Kalaka will be back any moment. Oh, wait. I didn't change into the devil costume. You know what? I... I wonder... Maybe we could have... Not so fast. If I die, I'll change into the devil costume, I guess. Luchador, how nice of you to join us for the final ceremony. Hey, you ugly charro, you've got me, now let him go. Aw, oh, Muffin, how sweet. I knew you'd come around to the idea of us being together. After all, you are about to marry a god. I just hope your incessant yapping will be curtailed by the skeletonization process. Let him go. Why do you care so much about this one anyway? Wait... I see what's going on here. You're that agave farmer. Haha, <laughs> you're a luchador now? But I killed you. I definitely killed you. Not to worry. You'll have the great privilege of dying twice by my hand. I am Carlos Calaca, the greatest charro that ever lived and died, but lives again. Oh, and don't worry. I'll make sure she witnesses your painful, painful death. One! <laughs> now show me how worthless you truly are, agave boy versus Carlos Calaca. Rematch! Yeah, I'm almost certainly going to die here, so I'll change into the devil costume if I... Ah, yeah. Oh, wow. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't send me back? It doesn't send me back. You know what? I can, I can just quit because I saved at that last checkpoint. I believe Diablo's suit is the one that we're supposed to do it as. Yeah. So. Melee attacks steal life, which will also be useful. More stamina. Oh, it cuts our life, like, in half. Well, let's see how this goes. I am not so sure I can do this, but at, I'm... It's honestly the same as wearing the Alabrihe suit, because I think with the Alabrihe suit, I take double damage, but with this I have half-life and take the... So, I think it amounts to the same thing. Now, I feel like there's going to be some Mega Man pattern learning going on here to actually fight Kalaka here. All right. Now let's try this. Yeah. Yeah. 
dodging that is going to be tough. I've got to... Oh, boy. How do we do? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Even if we're not in the devil suit or the alabrihe suit, it's going to be tough. No! No! Ah. We're getting hits in at least, but just barely. Okay. Ouch. Ouch! I couldn't even dodge that. I was just in the midst of... Oh, and that's the wrong... He's got to have a second form after this, I guarantee it. <sighs> Luchador, you are lucky I spent all my energy on the ritual. But you are too late, for the Black Sun arrives. Come witness the emerging of two worlds and the beginnings of my new world order. I bet he's got, like, a giant... Oh no! El Presidente's daughter! <laughs> the power! I can feel it welling inside me. Oh boy, those are like vampire... Whoa! Hello! Big guy, little buddy! Behold! I am Kalaka, god of the living and the dead. Now tremble under my rule. Hey, buddy! How's it going? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, I see, I see how it is. Oh boy, hmm, good times. Do I have to like throw meteors at you? Oh, I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we get your transformation shtick. Let's see. How exactly... I need to figure out what your tells are, big guy. And how to deal with the things that you were doing to me. Honestly, I feel like maybe I'm better off actually hitting him than I am throwing meteors at him. Yeah. Yep, yep. Big transformation. All that jazz. And all that jazz. Whew. See, I've got to figure out his tells, because there is no way that I'm going to be able to deal with just tanking those hits. No way at all. Oh! Well, at least that one I can see coming, but I'm not paying attention to it coming all the same. Ah! Gacha! No. Phew, okay. And it's all purple, so I can't dodge any of it, yeah. And, like... But I need to be able to move out of the way of it so that I don't die. <laughs> Whew. Oh, and I didn't dodge into the middle in time here. Ah! Ah! And when he backs off like that, I've got to recognize that it's... Hello. 
Ugh, uh, the good thing about the devil suit here is that hits recharge my health, but not fast enough that I can afford to tank stuff all the same. Oh, and he reared back like that again. Whew! Hello! Dodge these at least. Oh, I'm starting to do it. No, no, no. Ah. Oh, I thought I might be... No, no, get to the left, one! Come on, we can do this! Oh! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Okay. Whoo! I got the achievements, The Devil Wears Revenge, and Boom Shack Kalaka. <laughs> got you! Yeah! Oh, I'm sorry, Phoenix. I'm sorry the things are crying. And there is the final orb. And that is the completed Lucha Mask. El Presidente's daughter, are you okay? You don't look like you've been skeletonized. Have you been skeletonized? You would tell me if you'd been skeletonized, wouldn't you? I got the achievement, El Savio. <laughs> now because we got all the orbs, this should be the good ending. I believe. <gasps> She's alive! <laughs> <laughs> and one so happy. Aww. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after? I suppose. Right? Yeah! We have done it! We have beaten Guacamele! That is the end of the game! <laughs> I like this art. The art in this game has been fantastic through the whole thing. Yay! They got married. Oh, look at the goat man trying not to cry down there. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens can't play the trumpet, silly. Beaks don't work like that. Feliz cumpleaños! <laughs> Playing soccer, like, red carded by the coach. She's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, this game makes me happy! <laughs> that was fantastic. Aww. <laughs> A winner is you! You've completed normal wo mode. You also saved El Presidente's daughter. You are a true hero. And we saved El Presidente's daughter because we, uh, because we 
Let's see, I know there's a way to get to... Is it extras? Yeah. So, like, the end... We got the happy ending and the happy credits because we 100%ed everything and got the orbs. It's only the orbs get you the happy ending. 100%ing doesn't have anything to do with the happy ending. But the regular ending we will now watch just so people can see what the normal ending of the game is like, where El Presidente's daughter does not survive. Which some may say it would probably be better to watch the happy ending second, but we don't really have any control over that if we wanted to unlock both of them, so... So this is not canon right now. This is not what happened. What happened is that we saved her. And then, the regular credits. Pirata Ridiculo. All of this is much sadder without El Presidente's daughter around. <laughs> it really is so much better with El Presidente's daughter, Phoenix Wings. So much better. Which is why I'm glad this is not the canon ending. <laughs> this is... The one where Juan had to do all this alone his whole life. No, oh, It's sad. What a bummer. But then... Reunited in the afterlife. No, oh, It's still kind of happy. It's still kind of a happy ending. But it's way better when Juan and El Presidente's daughter actually get to spend their life together and not just, like, reunite in the afterlife. So yeah, that has been Guacamele. And, uh... Yeah, I believe that I could get more achievements if I completed the game in hard mode. There are two more achievements that I do not have. I believe one of them is for beating it in hard mode, and one is for starting a new game on save slot number two, which, you know what? We can do that. And just in case I ever decide to play it, I'll put it on hard. And there, I got my achievement. And we won't actually play hard mode on stream. Whether I ever do or not uh, remains to be seen. But... Oh, I feel so terrible at the beginning of the game without my double jump and all my special abilities. I will just get far enough to actually save the game. Assuming that there's a save point early on, I don't remember if there is. But I can do that because we've got plenty of time for the rest of the stream. In fact, we may end up doing more than just 20xx today. We may also end up playing some uh, Spelunky, like we might do the Spelunky Daily Challenge, because we've only taken up the first hour of the stream finishing Guacamele, and as such, I would kind of like to not spend the whole time on one thing for the rest of the show. Yes, 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 yes. You bet. But yeah, I love this game. This has been a great game. Also, look at how much health you start out with in hard mode. Holy cow. <laughs> I wish that they had named El Presidente's daughter just so we would know what her name is. But I guess it's fine that she's just El Presidente's daughter. Yeah, yeah. get ourselves to the first save point and then I can maybe return to this later if I feel like playing through in hard mode and 
really torturing myself for that last achievement. I don't have all of the achievements in most of the games that I have played, even the ones that I've played a lot. I have all of them right now in Binding of Isaac. That is going to change come October 30th. And uh, you better believe that October 30th, when Afterbirth is released, that I am absolutely going to stream the crap out of it. Like, we're, we might do, like, very nearly an all-day stream with a few breaks. And uh, there's going to be a lot that day. There will be a lot of streaming. And then there will be another long walk up to, like, real, real Platinum God or whatever the new achievement is. Because real Platinum God was a pain to unlock. For those of you who have not played Isaac, like Phoenix Wings, it's ridiculous the things that are expected of you to get real Platinum God in that game. And some of them are totally down to completely random chance. And we have seen this before, so we can just skip it. And there's that barrel again. It feels like it's been ages since we played this part of the game in our initial playthrough. And let's see, I don't actually remember where our initial save point is, but I think it was as we leave Pueblucho. Yeah, I think it was on the way into the forest. Get out of here. Get on out of here! Oh, hey, barrel guy. Oh, I have to save the people in the church. I forgot about that. Okay, fine. Freaking lazy people can't save themselves. Hey, you drop back down here. Hello? I can't get back up to you now. <laughs> I should not have thrown you up there, but I thought that would be a killing blow. Oh yeah, I did start the first time you, at least the first time you properly watched Phoenix Wings. That is true. I had not realized that it was the first time you watched, but that is true. Okay, now free the townsfolk from the water closet, yes. Thank you for tutorializing the game I have already beaten once on stream. <laughs> now I shall be on my way to that save point. Well, yeah, because you'd watched some properly, because you'd watched some on VOD and stuff like that, so... And I think you'd even sat in a little bit when we were live before that. There we are, first, like, save point area. I think you'd even sat in a little bit before that, but not properly gotten to watch a show, like, all the way through. Okay. Well, that is it for Guacamelee on the stream, at least for now. Maybe, perhaps later we'll return and do a hard mode run through, but I don't think it's all that necessary. I think we've seen everything that we really need to see on stream for this game. And as such... Let's take a break, and when we return, we will be playing some 20XX. Hope you stick around. Look forward to seeing you after the break.
we are back from our break and it is time to play some 20XX. Now, this is a roguelike style game based on the Mega Man series. Basically based on the Mega Man series. And uh, along with that, as you might be able to tell right now, it has some amazing music. In fact, I probably need to turn that music down. I did not realize that I had not adjusted the audio settings here. Eh, not quite that far. There, that way you should be able to properly hear me. Oh, and... There we go. Now, I am sorry, Phoenix Wings, that your pen is caught in the hinge of the laptop. Oh, good, you got it, just as I was saying that. <laughs> Alright, so this game has awesome music, as anything inspired by Mega Man should, because Mega Man has some of the best music in gaming, period. Now, let's see. There is multiplayer in this. Should I play as Ace or Nina? I actually have not played a lot of this game, so I'm not sure. Once unlocked these items... Now, since this is a roguelike, they're like passive items that give us upgrades, that kind of thing. And that uh, will spawn in future runs. I don't think I have... Oh, I do have a few, because I've done a few runs. I'm surprised it actually ended up keeping some of my data from my save pre-beta. Well, let's see. Nut Whisperer, enemies drop more nuts. Or Health Finder, enemies drop more health. Let's go for the Nut Finder, because that helps us unlock more stuff. Well, we can get both, you know? Let's get them both. And those will both show up in our future runs. Normal mode, casual mode. Uh, skulls. These are challenges. Daily challenge and daily hardcore. So, I'm not ready for those things yet, but they have changed some things since I played last. And this is the collection that shows like all the items we've ever picked up in runs. And I believe Ace is more like Zero. I always liked Zero more. Yeah, Ace is more like Zero. I always liked Zero more than Mega Man, to be honest. Uh, so let's play... let's play normal mode. We could play casual mode, but, you know, let's, let's pretend we know what we're doing here. And we're going to generate our level. Now, this game is in early access on Steam. It's still in beta, and as such... It, it may have some bugs. It may be pretty badly broken still. Uh, those are small health. We're full on health, so we don't need them. So yeah, this is basically just a randomly generated Mega Man game with some roguelike elements like passive items. Ooh, I'm not really a fan of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I need, like, a dash. Do I... Oh, wait. Do I have the dash? Yeah, it's the R trigger, so I need to remember that. Oh. Well, that was pointless health loss. Oh, don't worry about it, Phoenix. That's okay. I did not warn you that I was coming back on because I was in the middle of setup when I we talked off screen for a moment. So I don't know how much of my uh, how much of my explanation of 20XX you heard. Oh jeez. If you missed some stuff. Plasma Blender shreds enemies up close. Uh, no, I want the A-Saber, I think. I'd rather have that range. Now, this game, in keeping with the games that on which it is based, is going to be pretty tough. Because the Mega Man series is known for that, and we're probably going to die out of this run very quickly, because I am just doing awfully. We have a little armor there, although that will be gone quickly. Oh, I forgot about the timer. I have not played enough 20XX, you guys. Rollster Beta, you gonna get rolled! Don't roll me, bro! Nope, I'm gonna get rolled. And I got rolled! Yeah, well, that went perfectly. 
So that was our first on-stream run of 20XX. Uh, just in case Phoenix Wings missed the, uh, the explanation, this is a roguelike game inspired by the Mega Man X and Mega Man Zero series. Oh, I'm sorry that things 1 and 2 are grumpy right now, Phoenix Wings, especially Thing 2. Um, gold stud powers cast for free sometimes. That's cool. Um, should I save for anything, or do they change every time? Midair dashing I'd like to have. Spillover matrix. Extra health becomes energy and vice versa. Well, let's just get the gold stud because we can get it. And, uh... But yeah, there are daily challenges up here. We are not prepared for those, as you might imagine, from how we just did on our regular. We're going to play in normal mode, even though casual mode gives us three unlocked passives right off the bat. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should learn in casual mode. Let's learn in casual mode. Um, let's see. I forget what these do. They really need to actually give you the explanation of what things do, because I do not remember. Oh, get out of my screen. Now, uh, my, my soul nut count, or whatever those are called, is actually covered up by my face. It's down here in the lower left. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what these items do. All of them, but... Oh well. Yeah, let's just play some casual while we kind of get used to things. And we'll be in a pretty... It'll be much easier starting with passives like this. We're not eligible for leaderboards, but we start with more passives, and that gives us a little more survivability while we're still learning the ropes of the game. Well, we're certainly, because of that upgrade, getting a lot of... a lot more nuts, it would appear. Or did we just convert them into something? I didn't even see what that did. Now, do I want to go up there? That's the question. This is a roguelike about which... yeah, we've been here, but the other way. This is a roguelike about with which I am way less familiar, and with which I am much less a, sort of uh, familiar with the meta than I am with, say, Isaac, or even FTL, which I definitely am not nearly as acquainted with the meta as I need to be to be good at the game. Yep. I want to get over to that thing in the corner, but I'm wasting time and I've got to remember that I can't just dither around in this. Yeah, I think all of my nuts are getting converted into gold nuts, and I don't know what that does because I didn't look at the... <laughs> oh wait, no, they're just regular nuts and then we're... they're soul nuts, and those are different evidently. Yeah, I always liked Zero more than Mega Man in in the X games, because uh, I liked the blade, I liked the saber. The Perforator! Prepare for holes! Bring it on, yo. Whew! Well, that was much easier than the last time. Bonus achieved for beating the level with 43 seconds remaining. You may choose only one passive. Now, max health plus two. Vera, that's a Firefly reference. Shoots mostly straight and super fast. Grants 10 nuts. Sure, let's get that. I don't even know what we do with the regular nuts, but let's do that. Health finder 8,000, enemies drop more health. Bronze barrel, basic attack speed, deal more damage. Let's go for that. Oh, do we get both of them? We get both of them, okay. And then we get to choose where we go for our next stage. And they've changed this since the last time I played. Um, I do not know which way to go, but you know what, let's go this way. I think this is Frostor, which I think they've changed a lot, yeah, since Alpha. Arctic Data Core. That's a small energy. Oof.
Uh, which way should I go? Oh, at least those aren't insta-kill spikes. Hope you brought nuts. You bet I did. Let's see. Blood magic, power kills sometimes restore health. Boost both jumping and plumbing abilities. Max energy plus four. Let's get the plumber's hat and boost our jumping and plumbing abilities. <laughs> and I want this too. You know what? Let's get it all. Why not? I want it all. I want it all. I want it now. Yeah. I probably shouldn't sing on stream, I suppose, just because uh, I don't know how sensitive Twitch gets in the VODs about copyright. Like, sometimes YouTube users will get flagged for just singing things. Although, I don't imagine that my voice is close enough to Freddie Mercury's for me to get flagged or get my audio muted for it. Oh, well, you're a jerk, aren't you? Well, I could swear I killed you. I'm gonna die. I'm... I'm playing bad. Because... I'm not being careful. Playing badly. I could use some heals now. Whew, that was not safe to do that. What are you, blue thing? Is that like a vendor of some kind? Oh, that's an energy vendor. What I need is a health vendor, thank you. Hey, could you uh, blow up down there? Because I don't think I can kill you and I don't want to... Yeah. That's what I was wanting. Health! Well, armor. Okay, I'll take armor. It's almost like health, except that I just wasted some of it. Yeah, I don't have time to go up there if there... No, there are spikes there. That was just... Okay, so... Can I actually kill you? Or am I going to get killed myself? Yep. <laughs> Gotta get better. Gotta get better. We certainly did better that time than we did previously, though. Aerial Stabilizer is still there. So I can save up. And I have to save up. So let's head for another casual run, I guess. Because I do not feel like we're ready to take on normal mode yet. And uh, I don't know what these things do. I know what some of them do, but I don't know what they all do. Well, I like the better jumping, so let's start with some of that. Jungle Station. Now this is where all the runs that I did before the beta update started, like none of them started in that fire zone, which it may have existed in the game, but I didn't ever start in them prior to this. And the thing about random generation is that there's no real guarantee that you will have coherent level design until you have a really, really good engine going. Oh, though that's a magnet. I forgot about those. Like, magnet platforms. There's no real guarantee that you'll have coherent level design unless your generator is really well designed, and even then, you have to be kind of lucky sometimes, and you'll still get some bad level design slipping through, because... Uh, does what just make them available in the run? Phoenix Wings? If you mean casual mode, like which things I select, then no, it doesn't just make them available in the run. Casual mode means that I actually start with those upgrades, and then they, I think some of them can be repeated, so you can like double up on them in the run, but... 
but as on, if you mean, oh yeah, the list at the beginning where you just pick stuff, well, do you mean on the left? On the left, the thing where I have to buy things with soul nuts, that makes them available in runs. The, then after I have found them in runs, if I want to in casual, that I just pick them up at the beginning and I start, so... Ouch. Get out of the way. Ah. No, I'm I'm playing so sloppily here. One of the things about the Mega Man games that I'm used to is that I'm used to kind of tanking bosses a little bit. Like I learn their patterns, but I'm also used to tanking them. Now, what are you? Amatic. Powers deal more damage. Mortar fires an arcing blast that explodes on contact. Grants ten nuts. Let's go for the mortar. Because I don't think I had a secondary weapon, and I don't remember how to use the secondary weapons. I think that's why. I think. Um, let's go for the heart container. And where do I go here? Oh yeah, and I, I forget that I get both of those. Glad to hear the things are better now. Let's see. Sky Temple, that's Kerr the Gatekeeper. The Perforator and Agnesort, which I know I can deal with. And Eternal Star, Sky Temple. Let's go here. I don't think I've ever been here. Maybe I have in a past run a long time ago when I first got this game, but I do not remember it, so... Um, the level looks a little familiar, but... I don't really like these, like, ballista enemies. <laughs> Ah! Hello. I did not realize you did that, but you did a thing. Oh, we've got a store down here. I don't have a lot of nuts, but I have enough to buy one of these two things. I don't can't get that one. You know what? I want enemies drop more health, because I'm clearly going to need that. No, oh, I didn't even notice you were there. I think I'd better go this way, because... Fine. We'll go over this way. And I'm playing fairly conservatively. I don't trust myself to play as well as I need to play right now. Oh, Ballista, no! Ballista, no! Oh, man. And it, the, it, count, it teleports me to the last solid ground I was on, which is way back over, all the way over there. Woo! No! No! Oh, come on. Maybe I should, like, try to mortar those guys instead of getting up close and personal with them like that. I can do it too, see? Oh, you've got a shield? Oh, and you explode! You explode. I think I took damage from that explosion, too. I kind of feel like with the bronze barrel for Ace, they should have a different sprite... a different, uh... Oh, and I wasn't watching my health and I just died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I will actually be right back. We need to take a short break, but we will return to 20XX right after this.
we are back. Pardon the interruption. Well, now we can unlock our uh, air dash item here, and hopefully we'll run into that in the game sometime soon, because I like the sound of that. And back into another casual run, because... Oh, and I can actually... even We don't even have to encounter it first. I can just start off with it. Well, in that case, let's do exactly that. Start with some better mobility. So there's our air dash ability. Oh, and I've got I still gotta hold it down. I should pay attention when I'm playing a game for the internet. <laughs> now as you can see the generation rules obviously are similar enough that you're gonna see some familiar features. That often happens in roguelike games, like uh, there will be some areas of levels that are sort of, whoa, sort of pre-built. Oh, this is like the Magma Centipede thing from uh, Mega Man X2. Well, ish. Basically, we're being shot at, and the only safe places are these green areas. Hey! You're gonna explode, aren't you? I wonder if those explosions actually do damage to me or not. I did not... I could not really tell the last time that we... Nope. Well, that was a waste of health. What is... what was the shiver for, Phoenix Wing? Nova, release a shockwave, crushing foes and blocking shots. Sure, let's take that. Now, let's see. Let's go deal with the perforator. I remember that being a decently easy fight, so. Oh, yeah. This area does look cold. And now, from cold to hot, into the super hot facility. Yeah. Alright, so this is a health dispenser. Let's spend some nuts on it so that we are not quite so low on health because I, I'm i playing this like a Mega Man game and I can't because playing this like a Mega Man game will get you killed because in Mega Man you can tank hits a lot more effectively a lot of the time. And so even though this has Mega Man very much in its DNA, increases your speed. So that's what that does. Sure, I'll take the Ninja Sash. I gotta go fast. As the item says, the item description text. So the perforator is basically like a big version of one of those regular enemies. But yeah, I have to play this a lot more carefully than a Mega Man game, because even though it looks and feels a lot like a Mega Man game, it is a lot more dangerous. We are much more fragile than this. And the nature of the game means that there's... Yeah. The nature of the game means that there aren't chances to uh, just retry if you fail out, so... I forgot about our air dash. Ugh, I still took damage from that, even though I... Oh. Um, 
down or across? That is the question. I'm glad I came down here. That gives me a passive. Now getting back up is the issue, but probably not as much of an issue as it seems. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh! I thought that was solid. That is not solid. some health, then. If you want to drop me some health, I wouldn't mind that at all. Nope, no health? Okay. Well, let's go deal with this dude, then. He wasn't super difficult last time, so... Ah, I was meant to dash, but I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, that was very doable, especially with our air dash. That's a health up, that's our, a different weapon. Let's take the health up, because I want the health. And you are the Nut Whisperer. Enemies drop more health, I will take it. I will take it, I will take it. Let's see, Rolster. Rolster just brings us back to this area again, doesn't it? Agnosort, that's the fire level, right? Well, let's go for a little more variety and go to the Vacu Lab and face the twins. tried. Ah! Oh, and I've got to wait for the platform to respawn, don't I? Before I go charging in like a crazy person and lose health. would like to get that but, can I? Yeah, I'll take a little damage for it, why not? Oh! <laughs> Pay attention, David! I'm not gonna get this. Well, I should actually pick it up, shouldn't I? And I want to come to this shop, yeah, let's... I already got the air dash, already got a ninja sash. Uh, let's get more energy, sure, I'll take that, and I can be faster. Uh, come on, bats. chaotic in here right now. I keep using my secondary weapon because I'm a... Uh... Whew! Well, I'm getting all the health that I don't need now. Alright, so the twins. Bulwark of the gods. Iron Vanguard's words. <laughs> Hello, bullet hell. I'm just gonna get up in your face here and, like, hit you a few times, because I can tank some hits and... 
There we go. Bonus achieved. We only had 40, 14 seconds left to get our bonus, but we got it. Mm -hmm. Flames encircle you, blocking shots and slaying foes. I think I like that. I wonder what I press to use that since I, uh... Oh, that's what I press to use that. Okay. I mean, I'll take another aerial stabilizer, but does it actually do anything? Or does it just... It does not. So... Let's go face Splinter Penguin again in Frost Ore. I think we... We could have done it last time, but we were being... I was being a derp, so... Derp again, David. And we're actually using energy, so this again. take damage from that, although I was hoping it would kind of dash me over. I want this health! I'm not sure I really want to mess with these portals. I think that I am probably better off just... bypassing them. Enemies drop more health, I'll take that. Um, sure, I'll buy a little energy. I wish I'd gotten that over there, but I don't want to backtrack for it at this point, so... Yeah. I'm trying to use more power kills because I know I can vampire from them sometimes now with that. Okay, we're low on health again, so I'm not real a real big fan of this. Oh, I'm sorry, Phoenix Wings. Sliced your f thumb fixing mac and cheese. I'm not entirely sure how you managed that, but... Don't tank it, David! Don't tank it. Well, I tanked it. <laughs> Ooh, Splinter Frost launches a jagged ice launch a jagged ice shard that fans out on contact. Sure, I like that. That's cool. How exactly do I use that? Do I like that? Okay. We're so low on health. What? Oh, that's that thing. That plant thing. What are you? Cur the Gatekeeper at the Sky Temple. Sure, let's go check that out. We've been to the Sky Temple, but we did not get to Cur the Gatekeeper, I believe. I know I'm using energy, but I might get some vampire off of it, and... I want these things out of my way. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a different sky temple than we've been to, also. The palette is a little different. Than Ugh. Oh! Well. Bad timing. We were doing really well, though. But for that, we got quite a lot of soul nuts, so I can unlock some stuff here. 
powers deal more damage. Max energy plus five, also full energy. Extra health becomes energy and vice versa. That I want to have in my game. I want that in my life. I can get all of these, actually, so... Those will spawn in future runs. In fact, I'm going to start with that. And uh, air dash and better jumping. Yeah, I think that's what I want to start with here. This time. I often get more of the more of the energy than I do of the health when I need help. Feels weird not having ninja sashes because I feel much much slower than I did in the last run. Hoping I could reach down to you, but apparently not. Okay, I'm gonna go through a gauntlet, probably for a passive. Ooh, what are you? Grants additional reach and damage. Should I do that? Ooh, that's cool. I'm I really like the sword, but. This will force me to try something different, so let's try it out. Ugh. Oh, I can't hit him through walls in spite of that. Oh well. One of the things I abuse with the sword is that it has that arc, though. And This has really good reach, though. Thing one has decided that I have my own chair at your table, huh? Well, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> okay, 41 sec- well, 40 seconds, like 35 by the time we get through this animation. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so boomerang blade. That's cool. Let's take the boomerang blade. I like the sound of that. And then we get the Amatic anyway, so that's nice. Let's see, we never got to the bat in the Sky Temple version of... in the bat version that we played that one time, so... Let's go see what that's like. I got cocky. I thought I could make that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got cocky again. Why am I doing this? I'm not good enough at this game to get cocky, you guys. Oh, really? Uh. Okay, there we go. Well, I wish I'd grabbed that, because with my energy spillover matrix... Uh, we're not going to make it past this part in this run, just because I'm being bad. 
Yeah. Like, at this point, let's at least look at that boomerang blade before we die so we know what it looks like. Ah, yep. Farewell, cruel world. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, we've only played a few runs, but I actually think I want to switch over to Spelunky now for a little more variety in this stream. And so, right after... Oh crap, you died. Right after this break, we will be back with Spelunky. I hope that you will join us, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Welcome back for Spelunky. Let's go play the daily challenge and see how we do. I am fully prepared for this to not work out so well, because it hasn't the last few times on stream. But let's give it a shot. And we will play as our little Jaguar Javier looking guy one more time in honor of Guacamele. Now this feels very strange coming straight off of 20XX. The controls feel very different. These games are both good and they both have tight controls, but they control very, very differently. Mm, I'm gonna wanna get over to that crate in the damsel if I can. Oh, that's gonna be bomb expensive though, isn't it? Well, okay then. I guess we're spending some bombs. Hopefully we'll get something good out of that crate. We also get a little more money from over here, which is nice. And I should not play so fast and loose with bombs in a daily. Well, uh, you know, I, it's a net profit of one bomb. I'll take that. I'll take it. We can do it. And jump over here, grab this. So maybe will this actually be the time that we do well and make it all the way through the game, perchance, on a stream run? I, I dare not say. I'm not going to spend a rope for that gold. I'm not going to drop down there and have to spend a rope for that gold either, so... I should have probably taken that pot with me and broken it in the next level so that I had something if there's a trap near the beginning. Oh well. Let's see how we do. Oh, hello shop. I would like to have the money to buy everything you've got. And I don't dare try to kill you because I don't trust myself. But I may return to you. I may well return to you indeed. I think we're going to sacrifice our damsel because I usually find that more useful. And hopefully our chest is easily accessible. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to at least buy 
one of those bomb boxes. We're early enough that I can afford it. And I think I'm gonna buy the pace too, even though there's probably gonna be a spider I could kill. We will find out, I suppose. Here is our chest. Drop down for me, spider. I want to get over here and get at this crate. These crates, actually. Mm, I'm going to spend a bomb for that, too. Get that third crate. Already have those. That'll be useful. And ropes, sure. I'll take ropes. And you know what? That gold can... Nah. I was going to say that gold can stay up there, but... I can trigger that without getting myself hurt. And... I almost have enough money that I'd be tempted to go back up for... Yeah, I think I'm really tempted to go back up and buy that other bomb box. I'm gonna spend ropes to do it, and it may not be the wisest idea, but I want to be stocked up, yo. gonna push that right on top of those spikes, save myself from any embarrassing accidents. Potentially. Yeah, thank you, sir. Hopefully we'll then actually make enough, uh, make enough money to be able to buy the Ankh legitimately later so that I don't have to face shopkeepers, because I don't trust myself. Especially on a daily, with facing shopkeepers. Come back for that. No, oh, okay. Let's not do that, okay? <laughs> I can get in there. Oh, I should pay more attention. Don't want to get cobra out of nowhere like that. That's stupid damage. But we are doing okay. We're doing okay so far. Actually didn't mean to hurl you all that way, but sure. Yeah, I'm gonna be set for bombs for a while, I think. I do kind of want those climbing gloves, but I don't want to keep spending money because I need to be saving up for the, yeah, more bombs. I think we're gonna be good now. I probably did not need to buy those bomb boxes, but hey, extra bombs are always welcome as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to buy the climbing gloves. They'd be nice to have, but I might get some later. I never get the idols in the uh, mines, Phoenix Wings. They are not worth it. I, You get a boulder, like an Indiana Jones-style rolling boulder, when you get them in the mines. And it almost certainly would have ended up killing the shopkeeper. And that would have given me trouble ugh, for the rest of the game. So it's really a value proposition on the mines. It's not great. On the jungle, I always get the idol because there's absolutely no reason not to. It's basically the easiest gold that you can get. But... I don't know if there's anything over there. I should have looked down while I was nearer, but I don't think I need to go over there. Okay. 
get away from me. I was trying to throw them on the spikes just to be spiteful, but... <laughs> More bombs! Yeah, we're gonna be good for bombs, I think. We are gonna be so good for bombs. We got bombs for days. That could have been bad. In fact, let's go ahead and blow our way through there because we have so many bombs that even though I don't know if there's anything worthwhile over here, we can at least check it out. And it was not really worth it, but oh well. Moving on. Also, welcome to the chat, I know Mayo. Phoenix Wings welcomed you. I did not. I did not notice, actually, that there was anybody else until just now. hoping you'd hop back into that grandfather frog or whatever they call you there we go that was what I was going for can go on up here more bombs yeah, I really didn't need to buy those bomb boxes, did I? I would have been set. Oh well. We can be bomb. Holy cow, look at that. I'm glad I don't need to buy any of those because uh, I feel like I would probably... I probably would if I was playing any other day. Oh, no! Be careful, David. Don't be doing this. Ah, ah, crap. Well. Oh, <laughs> okay. See, that was just stupid. I didn't even realize I was getting that close. I hate man traps. Well, another stupid failure on the daily challenge. That's pretty typical for this show. I do fine on them if I'm not actually streaming. But let's just go and play some normal runs, I guess, because we're terrible. That was, that was sad. That was really just truly sad. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go back to this guy. This is who I usually play as. So, yeah, well, that was, that was a, that was embarrassing. <laughs> let's not do that again. We were doing perfectly fine up to that point. I should know better than to get up close and personal with the whip and man traps. One of these days, we're going to see Yama on this stream, you guys, and I'm going to take him out. It's going to happen. Just you wait. Because I have beaten Yama in the past, I can do it again, I just have to do it when people might be watching? Wouldn't that be novel? Sure, I'll take a boomerang, I'm not really sure that was worth a bomb to get what was in there, but hey, crates, you never know. Those crates could have an early game jetpack or something like that, so... like to get over there. I don't trust myself to blow that up. I don't trust this whole area, really. Well, okay then. Apparently something set it off. Not entirely sure what, but I'll take it. Just drop you over there. Ugh, that daily death is going to drive me crazy all night. I'm going to be so upset about that. Because <laughs> we were doing just fine. Uh, the 
mystery box is tempting, but is it worth it? Uh, fine. And some bombs. It was not worth it. Not for the cost. But, oh well. Sometimes you gotta put yourself out there, you know? That's how the game is played. get this idol if I decide to get the idol which I almost as I said never do on the mines if I do it I definitely want to wait until after I have gotten the key and chest the Ujadai can I safely drop you down here without you getting spiked yes I can so you go over there And I'm probably not going to come back up for the idol if we need to use ropes for it, which we would. I mean, I have enough ropes, though, so I don't know what I'm worried about. It's kind of tempting if I think I can do it without getting myself killed or angering any shopkeepers, which the shopkeeper's above it, so should be fine. I'm going to spend a rope here for sure to go get this crate. Climbing gloves. Well, I want those. That is good to have. I can't quite reach without using a rope. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I think. <laughs> this may be a terrible idea too, but I'm taking risks today, obviously. And because of my failure at the daily challenge, I think we've lost our other viewers now. <laughs> that's okay. That would that's to be expected. Yeah. Let's just jump on up here. Get our Might as well. And on to the next level. Don't like anything here. Uh, not gonna gamble for spring boots, no, thank you. Even if we don't get a good daily, maybe we'll get a good run. That would be nice. And we'll get the paste from this spider. I can't damage it with that when it's knocked out. Derp. Ugh, that's... I hate that... Oh, and I hate that. I hate that daily death, though. That bums me out. That was not good. I am better at this game than that. Freaking jumping into a man trap's mouth. What kind of amateur death is that? I still don't really trust it. Moving on. Up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky.
or moving on down deeper into the depths of the caves of Spelunky, where it is much more than likely that we will die. stupid. <laughs> Don't do what I do. That makes you suck at the game. No, I didn't want to whip the damsel. Thank you. I don't really even want that parachute, but okay, I'll take it. I guess, if I have to, which I do. Oh, and I could have sacrificed the damsel instead. Oh well. Fine. <laughs> Tonight's Spelunky runs are so thrown off by that ignominious death that we suffered a few minutes ago. I'm just, uh, I can't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. I feel bad. I feel bad about it. Feels bad, bro. Feels bad, man. Whichever meme I'm referencing right now. Get on out of here. Freaking man traps. Make me so mad now. that was hit the damsel in the head. And again. Oh, that's fine, Phoenix. Don't worry about it. All I did was horrendously fail the daily challenge and start a new run. Assuming that you possibly missed that part. Like, it was embarrassing. It was real bad. <laughs> and we very quickly lost our other viewers right after that, so... Because, yeah, I derped super hard. I just, like, walked into the mouth of one of those man-trap plants. Basically. <laughs> and I'm still salty about it. Still not happy about it. <laughs> So hopefully this run will be a little better at least. Get on out of here. No. Hopefully we can do this one with less derping around. Oh, it's okay. I'm just I'm just mad cuz I'm bad. <laughs> one of these times, like I said, but you were away. Uh, we are going to see Yama on a stream run. I have beaten Yama before when playing by myself. But one of these times we're actually going to get to Yama and beat him on a stream? No! See? I tried to jump and I accidentally pressed down. I did exactly the same kind of death that I did before. 
Oh, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. In fact, I'm almost tempted to, like, boot up FTL or something instead and play the rest of the stream in a different game. I think I'm going to do that because I'm too mad at Spelunky and myself and my Spelunky skills right now to continue. So, yeah, when we come back, we're going to go play a little bit of FTL. <laughs> Here we go on another break. <laughs> back with FTL. Let's see if we can do any good with this. And in honor of our uh, rare viewers that we had, let's change a couple of names. Declan can now be Inom Mayo. Even though Inom Mayo is gone, they will be memorialized forever. We'll go ahead and change Steven to Phoenix. I'm not going to try to put your whole name in here. Well, sure, we'll put it, we'll just call you Phoenix. And then, because I never saw the name of our third viewer that we had for a while, we're just going to name this guy, I don't know, like, Beef Stew. And we are going to play... You know what? Just because I'm so bad at FTL, let's play on easy. Eventually, I'm going to move up to normal, but I still want to improve my skills here. And that will help a little. It will not help all, but it will help a little. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels. They give us ten scrap and a pike beam. Excellent. I will take that pike beam. I will have to break down shields before I use it. And let's upgrade shields and power. And add more power to our engines. We want to allocate power to our weapon systems when we need it. Um, I wonder if I should be damage per room hit one. And that has normal damage one. Maybe I should try taking out shields and then using the pike beam rather than the burst laser. Yeah, let's see how we do with that for a little while. The only thing is that we have to keep their shield systems down, if they have shield systems at all. And hit as many rooms as we can by cutting across like this. This ship doesn't even have shields because it's an auto scout. Oh. And Phoenix? No, actually, Stu. Stew, like beef stew, go get that. Go fix our oxygen systems. And as soon as we're charged again, let's hit them again the other way. Although they only take one damage. No, oh, and they, of course, naturally, they would take out our weapon systems and leave us with only. Let's 
soon as the weapon is charged. There we go. Now, two missiles, one drone part, and 18 scrap. Let's send Stu in to fix our med bay, although we're not using it at the moment anyway. And then send Phoenix Wings in to be healed. And return you to your post in the engine room. Phoenix Wings, today you are our mechanic. Last time you were our pilot, I believe. But today, Ainam Mayo is our pilot, even though they are no longer here. Jump on forward. Let's go check out this distress signal. Your cockpit lights up with warning signals. You are being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range. Prepare for a fight. Oh, and we have fires that I wasn't aware of. So let's just uh, take care of those. And fire the Artemis at the shield systems and then the pike beam. Let's see, how can we do the most damage? Probably like this. Um, no, actually like this. Yeah, the, I want to hit all these systems, so let's do that. Put out those fires. Close all doors. Oh, fix our weapon systems in there. because we now cannot use our pike beam like we were planning to. I think I know Mayo is dazed or something, I'm not sure. Hit the shields again. we have to, so never mind, we'll just wipe them out that way. It's a waste of a missile, but we got some fuel and some scrap, and let's go ahead and get our other upgrade there. What can I depower? I can't depower anything. Well, you know what, I'm gonna slightly decrease our engines, and then when we have the scrap for more power, we can deal with that. Actually, no, everyone but the other two. Only the other two need to be healed and we can... Then we can move on. And return to stations so that we can jump. Let's head back this way. We want to cover a lot of ground before the fleet gets in here. We stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. They're powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Let's depower the pike beam and use the burst laser for this because we want to focus primarily on shields and engines. And so... there. Shields and engines are already damaged. And then piloting, although it doesn't make a difference actually. Now let's, they're fixing that, so let's switch back. They're fixing their engines and taken down. Two missiles, one drone part, 26 scrap. The biggest difference between normal and easy mode is that we get way more scrap. And, uh... Mm, yeah, let's...
its wrist coming over to the dis this distress beacon. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Lead them to it? Yeah, sure. Hopefully it is... Yeah, we can get there. Let's take a slightly roundabout way so we cover a lot of stuff. I'm sorry, Thing 2 is super tired, Phoenix Wings. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Um, sure. And we get an extra... We get an extra crew member. Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal, a lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly re retreat with them in tow back to the ship and hope they can recover enough to be of some use. Oh yes, they can. We're going to put them on manning the shields. And we're going to upgrade... No. Oh, she's out now? Good. <laughs> Let's see, what should we upgrade now? I think maybe we should save and upgrade weapons systems? I'm not really sure. Actually, I think we should upgrade engines. And... Now, oh, and yeah, we'll, we'll then upgrade power next so that we can actually deal with that. You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. Okay. Hit the shields instead of the burst laser. Let's use the pike beam here and see what kind of damage we can do by hitting systems across like this. your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't know if that is a good enough excuse for me to leave them. Uh, I feel like I'll get more scrap, especially if I... Uh, I'll take it, fine. Let's upgrade our power so that we can put a little more power into our engines and our dodge chance. And on to here. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel, rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage. Alright then, well, first of all, I think I want to hit their shield systems, and then I want to rake across as much of their ship as I can with the pike beam. Starting from the drone system. As soon as the pike beam recharges, we'll hit him again. Solar flare imminent. I'd like to get out of here before that happens if we charge. Two fuel, two missiles, and 26 scrap. Let's get them to their quest location. Five hull points repaired. That's useful. We needed that. And in fact, let's... Um, fix all to get ourselves the rest of the way. Buy some fuel. Buy one missile. And we can go ahead and go down to all of our scrap from that just because... Oh wait. Do we have a fire in here somewhere? because I hear crackling. Oh yeah! In fact, here, we're gonna... 
We're just going to empty out the oxygen in those rooms. Oh, and it's spreading. Hopefully Turing can take that out before... Oh, I don't like it. Come on. I want that crackling to stop. I want that fire out. And yes, Kirkner. Kirkner's a fairly common name that I see a lot in this game, actually. Oh, and there's fire elsewhere, too. You know what? Let's uh, get these people to the med bay, and then... I didn't realize we had so many fires. Like, we're going to open up everything back here and just vent everything, get these people sitting in the med bay. Crackling done. There we go. Close all doors on the ship. Wait a little while for oxygen to return. I can't view the whole ship because as you see this camera thing, that is our sensor uh, subsystem. And that enables us the view of all rooms. And sometimes if the system is destroyed, like it is right now, we can't see stuff until it's fixed. Or if we were in a nebula area, that would scramble our sensors and we'd only be able to view rooms that people are actually in. So let's return the crew to their saved positions. Touring, I did not save yet, so Touring can go back and fix this sensor system. And then we should, as soon as that is all the way back up, we should be able to see everything on the ship again. Because we're not in a nebula sector at the moment, so we should be fine as soon as that system... Yep, there we go. Now, send you back into shield systems and save current crew positions. I want to wait a little more until our oxygen is all the way back up, because I don't really like this situation having limited oxygen throughout the ship. That's good enough to move on. Now... Let's go this way. A ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. Um, sure, let's get in a fight. We're doing okay. Hit the shields and get out the pike beam. That's what I want to see. So we nail the shields and then we just like rake across all their other systems with the pike beam. This is going to hurt. Oh, good try, but you didn't have the chance. You had no shot. Two fuel, two missiles, 25 scrap. Let's see, I need... Actually, I should have deactivated the medbay and powered up the engines more. What do I need to be upgrading next? What is most important, probably? I don't need to upgrade autopiloting because we always have our pilot in there, generally. Sensors are useful to see the enemy interior and their weapon charge and power use eventually, but I'm not so sure. I never upgrade doors. Maybe I should, because it gives us blast doors that impede fire spread and intruder movement if people beam over to our ship. That is nice. I'd need more power as well. Um, for now, maybe it's best to just upgrade our power and then we can make decisions later and just keep our med bay powered up for the moment. Although it is not a necessary system, especially, so... Let's go here because I want to get to the exit before too long. Ship's gonna power up and try to burst away. They have a hacking system, I don't like that. I want... but I have to hit their, uh engines to keep them from jumping away. 
So I guess they're hacking system. You know, and they're hacking our engines. That's better than some things they could be hacking. They could be hacking our shields or our oxygen. You know, and our weapons are down just when we were ready to fire our pike beam. Well, you can't do anything in the engine room right now anyway, Phoenix, so... Oh, and you can't get out of there because the doors are locked. So, fine. Go ahead and man that system. And... Hit... Hacking system with the Artemis before they... Do more to us. And then the pike beam will take them out. There we go. And we got a fuel, a drone part, and 11 scrap. And let's jump on to the exit, because I think we should probably be leaving. Small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort. It is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and lang languages. It's probably a trap. Yep. It was a trap. I thought it might have been a trap, but... Oh well. Hit the shields, power up the pike beam, and... Yeah, let's do that. Hurry up and fix that, I hope. No, you know what? I'm already attacking you with the killing blow. I would have killed them anyway. Maybe I should have, but... Maybe I should have taken it because I think it would have damaged them anyway, but... Beef stew, get in to get fixed up a little bit. Yeah, my engines were taken down by that trap. That, uh... They did damage to the engine, and so you're fixing the engines up right now. And touring, you can go and get fixed up as well. Return crew to positions. Jump to the next sector. Um, you know, we're not doing too badly. I'm kind of tempted to go into hostile territory. Let's try it. If we get ourselves destroyed, that's fine. A few years ago, this region was bustling with trade activity. Now it's overrun with bandits and marauders. You should tread lightly here. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unarm unharmed. Uh, no. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I, I know they're well-armed, but no. I really like having my crew, so let's hit them with the pike beam. And just hit everything they've got. Uh-oh. It's you, Phoenix Wings. I don't actually know who it is, but it is the phone. Okay, I hope they don't hit us too hard before we can do this. If they were smart, they'd be going for our weapons first. Oh, they're going to offer me one a crew member. Sure. Yeah, I'll take the crew member. Like, that's actually a, good, a really good thing to have. You and Thing 1 now? <laughs> Let's see, now I forget, I think manned door systems are, give us blast doors, like they basically up us a system level. Manned sensors, uh, I think also boost us up a level. Everything else is manned. Let's, hmm, maybe the sensors? Yeah, that lets us see the enemy interior. Maybe that's more useful. And then if we have a bad situation, we can send O'Regan into the other room. Let's go hit this distress beacon first and then go to the store. Maybe we'll have a little more scrap by the time we get there. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. 
We can try to dislodge it by shooting at the rocks, we can destroy and loot the ship because they're just pirates, or we can carefully cut the ship out, and they may attack us because we have a beam weapon, which is why this is blue, because it's dependent on our systems. And I'm going to try that just because I like taking blue options when I can. You use your beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid, the ship gives a quick burst of thrust and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer you some of the resources they've collected. One missile, one drone part, 29 scrap! I like that. I, I will take that. Let's head over to this store now. And what should I be looking at buying? I could get more crew. That It's always good to have more crew. System repair drone. We don't actually have a drone system. Which maybe I should get a drone control system. Because I never use it, but I really probably should. There are some very good drones in the game. But I'd have to sell something. Do I have anything I could sell? I've been primarily using the pike beam, but I think it might be a good idea to keep the burst laser around because the pike beam is not always capable of dealing with shields. Also, the halberd beam does more damage, requires a little more power though, and I'm not upgraded for it. Bombs teleport past shields and defense drones to land directly on the ship. Oh, that's new. That must be advanced edition content, maybe? I don't, I, I'm not familiar with the bombs. Uh, like missiles, they cost one missile to launch. They never damage hull, but can be effective at disrupting crew and systems. Oh, maybe they did exist now that I read that. You can even launch them at borders on your own ship. So they don't damage the hull itself, but they can damage crew and systems. That might be good to have as well. I don't know. I'd kind of like to have a rock crew member. They're useful to have because they're immune to fire, for one thing. Hmm. I'm going to hire the rock crew member. I'm going to buy a little fuel. And I think we're going to get out of here because we're broke now. And uh, Let's see. Scoops, our rock crew member, we'll send him in to man the doors for now, since that's the only unmanned system. Um, and I think with that, we can move on. Yeah, let's go this way. Asteroids. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Alrighty then. Let's hit those shields they've got. And then... Do this. Oh, did our pike beam go off? Oh, we missed the shields. Okay. Fine then. Be like that. Hit the shields this time. Oh, and we even damaged their hole. That's excellent because they've got more to repair before they can even start fixing the systems. They're not getting away. All right, a missile, a drone part, 25 scrap. Good. Let's be moving on as soon as we can jump into this nebula. Like, I could name them Cyrus, but then it would be extra sad if they end up dying in this run from something. But, uh... There appear to be a number of small stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter was used in one of the stations. You've been boarded. All right, so... Let's send in our mantis to fight them and some of our humans as well so that we can... Because uh... our mantis is an excellent fighter. Mantises do a lot of damage. Let's keep an eye on the health in here and make sure that nobody's getting too 
wrecked. Phoenix, we may need to send you out of there. Yeah, get you to the... And, boy, these people are... Where exactly have they gone? Are they still in there? No. Where are they going? Let's see. You know what? Return to stations. Oregon into the med bay. Did we actually take him out? I think we must have taken him out. But... Yeah, I think we must have taken them all out at the last second there, because... Yeah, okay, well, fine then. Because... Maybe we took them out at the last second that I was sending a Regan away. <laughs> it's probably what happened, actually. <laughs> yep, always looking out for you. This beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage, as they always seem to do. Let's hit them as hard as we can. I like this layout because that they have because once we get their shields down, we can pike beam across all of their systems. And they will have no idea what happened. And, um, you know, I'm gonna, that's a lot of fuel. I, I might not get that much fuel if I actually wipe them out, but, um, I'd probably get more scrap though. I do need fuel though, so I'm gonna take it, sure. Okay. Gotta think strategically about these things. <laughs> Stress beacon over here. Greeting, it's so good. Greetings, it's so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. We were terrified a pirate or those damn rebels would find us first. Could you spare some fuel? Yes, I can. Thank the gods we can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. And we get an ion charger, which damages shields, I believe. Let me go look at that. I might just end up selling that at the next shop, because... Oh wait, Ion Damage, I believe, does damage shield... shields, but... <clears throat> uh. But it also can knock out systems, I believe. I believe that they can, like, temporarily deactivate systems. I still don't know that I'll use it, though. I think... It has a very quick charge time, though. Hmm. And I should be upgrading some systems. I wonder if I should keep focusing on shields or engines. Let's get another hit in engines. Depower our medbay because we're not using it, and we'll have a little greater evasion. And over to the exit. I'm not sure if we should move on from this sector yet, but what at first seems to be a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris from a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Let's look at it, why not? A Zoltan ship arrived, makes its arrival as you make the, approach the wreckage, it immediately mistakes you for one of the attackers, declares you as hostile aggressors in violation of Zoltan's fate, space, and opens fire, because of course. Okay, well... Let's cut across, like... Oh, can I... Can I do it just right and nail maybe a little lower if I start just slightly lower and like at the very last pixel? Yeah! That's a lot of rooms. 
and several systems as well. So assuming that they don't attack our weapons before then, maybe we can really do some damage to them here. Oh, and let's char save that charge if we can. Oh, and because I deactivated it, it has to recharge again. Because they have that outer layer of shields we have to bust through first, like those missile shields. But then we can get them. Hit that shield system, don't miss. Excellent. Now... Slightly lower, apparently. Just like that. There we go. Taking them out. We get a fuel, a drone part, 23 scrap, and swarm missiles. So, swarm missiles can replicate multiple warheads if given time to, re to prepare. And required power two, charge time seven seconds, shots per charge one, max charge shots three, shield piercing five, which is the same as our other missile, fire chance low, breach chance low. Um, Well, we're not going to use that, so let's put this over here in case we decide to power it up, but uh, we're a little low on missiles. But it might be useful. Now, let's actually give ourselves a little more weapons power, I think. And we'll have to get more power as well, so let's... So let's save the scrap for the moment. Jump to the next sector. Let's go ahead into this rebel-controlled space, because we seem to be doing okay. Again, we're on easy, so things are a little simpler. Once the Federation forces were scattered, the rebels came down hard on the locals here. Between the tax collectors and military bases, the rebel presence in this sector is high. And let's go to this store first. And I'm going to sell this. I'm wondering if I should sell the swarm missiles because I don't know if we're going to use them. It might be useful. And they have a fairly high sell value, but uh, should we buy a dr should we try to get a drone control system? Hacking system? requires a drone part to launch, so that would also use our drone parts. Clone Bay... That's tempting. Let's buy the Clone Bay. No, wait. Crew heals partially every jump. Ooh. There is a disadvantage to the Clone Bay because that means that we uh, don't have a proper med bay. Let's think about that a little more before we make that decision. Um, and if we sell the burst laser... You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to sell the burst laser. To sell the swarm missiles as well. This might be a bad idea. No, should I? Hmm. I'm going to buy a hacking system. I'm going to uh, I think I want to save that. I think I want to save that swarm missile just in case. Let's buy some missiles. Yeah, okay. We've made our decisions here. Whether that is uh, 
Also, let's see, does the hacking system need to be manned? It doesn't get, it's not possible to man it. It's not powered either, so we need scrap to power it up. And, uh, you know what? I am going to sell the drone missile, the, not drone missile, the swarm missiles. Because, uh, no, actually, should I sell the Artemis instead? No, I can't get enough power from that. And I wouldn't be able to use it, and we'd be useless and screwed if I did that, basically. Yeah, Phoenix, I hope Thing 1 goes to bed soon, too. It is probably getting to be time, if especially if he's tired. Which I imagine he might be. Oh, this is a tough decision. Because... Because I can't power the hacking system yet unless I depower engines a little, which decreases our dodge chance and uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll continue as we are for a little while. Do I want to go around this roundabout way? It's a lot of fuel. Maybe I'll encounter another store along the way and make some fuel back in battles and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and actually... No, I want to go... I'm going to take this upper route, rather. Intruders on board. You arrived to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad you arrived. Our ship is damaged and we were getting desperate. I hope you don't mind if we take yours. So... Let's get some people in there. And okay, we need to be ready to pause and send people off to get healed up, actually. And let's go ahead and power our med bay. And you know what? Let's get our backup closer so that they are ready to jump in when we need to swap people out because that's about to happen. Or not, actually. Um, put people into the med bay. Now, one moment, please. We're going to go on break.
All right, we are back. We are going to run a little bit over time tonight because we're having a good run and I don't really want to stop it right now. So even though the show technically was supposed to end about 10 minutes ago, we're going to go ahead and, uh-oh, we're going to go ahead and see how far we make it, which actually, for all I know, this could end up being the end. <laughs> Let's see, our pilot is Inom Mayo, who needs to continue healing up before we can get out of here. And then you get back to the pilot station so we can be charging to get out of this place. Close all doors. Get our other injured into the med bay. And jump. Now, if you hear some noises, because we're running over time, my dog has joined me in the room, and so if he starts barking or scratching or anything like that, well, I'm sorry, we're over time, so... You receive a transmission, sorry sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders, the rebel ship's weapons go hot! I would have liked to have had the opportunity to, uh... Would have liked to have had the opportunity to get us more set up before this happened, but oh well. Now, Scoops, return to your station as well. Depower the med bay, power up the hacking drone. Let's hack there. Um, tempted to hack shields. Very tempted to hack shields. Temporarily drain the enemy ship of oxygen. Emmett, please do not scratch, little buddy. You've had everything you need already. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit shields. And then also actually hit shields. And then while we're at it, let's just kind of... do as much damage as we can with the pipe beam. Nope, that is not... At the last second, I was a pixel off from what I wanted to do. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, you're gonna hit your... Gonna hit your FTL then? Well, you can try. You can certainly try. Scrap. I want the missiles, so sure, even though we could have taken them out there. I hope we find a shop that we can buy some fuel from at some point soon, because... You arrive near a small rebel refueling depot. Your ship is being scanned multiple times, so they must recognize you, but there appears to be no combat-ready ships in the vicinity. The only message you receive is a denial to your request to dock at the depot. Okay, then. Receive a wideband message. Free schematic samples. Be sure to visit our new military-grade drone store opening in Sector XR-145. Here, you can meet my dog. Everybody? Yes, hello, child. Yes, hello. Since this is a game that does not really require a whole lot, I can probably just hold him, and he can chill out with me here. <laughs> Alright, anti-combat drone and 16 scrap. Okay... I'm glad Thing 1 is enjoying it. Let's see... Zigzagging like this is wasting fuel, but I want to see as much as I can. There are no other ships near this beacon, however you detect a small communications relay. You tap into it without a problem, there's no encryption. Most of the chatter revolves around troop and fleet movements, not particularly interesting. Let's 
give myself the most openings to possibly find a shop that we can buy some fuel at here. Rebel ship hails you, Federation scum. We waited a long time for this. And pause. And fire at their shields. Um, let's hack their weapons systems. And let's uh, see what we can do in terms of getting the most damage on their, on them with the pike beam. Because this layout doesn't lead to a whole lot of opportunity for that, but let's do that, I think, and resume. Hacking their weapon systems holds them off from hitting me while I'm doing damage to them. And, let's see. Yeah, let's do that once we're charged up again. It's only two fuel, but the scrap is good. Uh, I need the two fuel because we're so low. I don't. I can't trust that we're going to make it to a shop. And I don't know that I should keep zigzagging, but I want to see as much as I can and have as many opportunities as I can. So I'm gonna. A rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as you arrive, it begins its assault, of course. Because, of course, it does. I'm going to, once again, hack weapon systems, fire at shields, and pike beam across... Mm. No, I'm going to pike, be pike beam across from, like here and we're going to nail as much of the center of the ship as we can yeah let's do it that way yeah. hit and pike beam Excellent. Four fuel to... Yeah, let's accept their surrender, because we're getting fuel from these people, at least. So... Stumble across a forward scout. They're powering up their FTL. Okay. More fights. Well, the first thing we will do is... Hit... Mm, shields, yeah. And... Pike beam across the middle again. I think that's a good way to do it. And also, I think I'm going to go ahead and hack their engines, which will hold them off a little bit. Oh, and our piloting system is down, but we are not in the worst shape ever. I know Mayo can fix that in there. Let's go across this way. Assuming we can get a hit in. I don't want to spend a missile. Oh, their shields are back up. I have to spend a missile. Which will probably actually take them out in all likelihood, but let's still do that. Well, we we can hit him now. There we go. Taken out. Three fuel, one missile, 40 scrap. Wow. 40 scrap. What should I be upgrading in here? <laughs> we need more power. Um, you know what? For now, I'm just going to take that one power and I'm going to save the rest in case we make it to a shop soon that has anything really useful in it. 
I guess I do need to heal Inom Mayo up a little bit. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some... Probably a trap again? No, it seems to be damaged. You can likely steal as much fuel as remains. You know what? Yeah. Three is only three, but yeah, we're taking it. Rock controlled sector is the only one we can go to now. The rock people have a particularly aggressive stance toward alien races trespassing in their space. You could tread, should tread carefully here. This is the only sector we can even go to off of the bat, so we will go there. Mantis ship here is adorned with rock body parts. It would be a gorier display if they had internal organs, but the message is clear enough. This is a hunter of a very specialized kind. Um, should I put my rock crew member on the comm, or attack, or ignore them? Yeah, I'll do that because it's special. The two aliens face one another over the vid screen. Cave dwelling pebble man, yells the furious mantis captain. See, I paint my ship with your companions, I paint my ship with you. I don't think so. And first thing I'm going to do, if I can do it quickly, is hack their teleporter so they can't send anybody over here. And I'm going to fire a missile at their shield systems. And we're going to slash across as much of the ship as we can with our pike beam. They've already got someone over here, so... Now let's leave him there and... Phoenix, we may have to send you off to get healed pretty quickly here, because... Oh. oh, and our oxygen systems are down. Phoenix and O'Regan go fix that quickly. Hit their shields again. And... As much damage with the pike beam as possible as soon as possible. Fix up that oxygen system before we lose too much. You back in there, you back to your system. We'll heal everyone up as soon as we can. And also, what can I do with this? What is this? Begins disruption ability. Temporarily take control of the enemy teleporter, returning crew to the enemy ship. Oh, I didn't even realize we had additional abilities with hacking. That makes it much more interesting. But... Really? We are going to have to do this because of a miss or something? Well, okay then. Beam for once we've taken out their shield again. And now, now we can get it. There we go. 45 scrap, two missiles, one drone part. Good. Alright, so Inam Mayo, Phoenix, and Oregon, all of you to the med bay where we can power it up. And return to stations. Distress beacon? Sure, let's go to there. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire. We can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? I can. 24 scrap and a quest marker to take us to where they need to go, which is way over there. Well, let us head to this store first, before we start on our way. Okay, so... We can... Emmett, your face is in my face, child. There we go. I can s sell this anti-drone, because we don't even have a drone system, and I'm not going to buy a drone control system, I don't think. Uh, Mind control, temporarily turn enemies into allies. Um, I 
Zoltan. Might be nice to have a Zoltan crew member. First, we need... Let's just buy all their fuel. Let's buy both their missiles. Let's buy their drone parts. Let's fix up our ship. does a lot of damage. It has a long charge though. Hmm. I think I'm gonna sell this swarm missile because we're not using it. I think I'm gonna buy the breach missile. Um, Actually, I think that sounds really useful. Now, let's go into the ship, get ourselves, oh, and we can upgrade, upgrade our hacking systems to allow longer disruptions. That's good to know. Um, let me see. I want to upgrade. Weapons and power, and uh, I think if we deactivate the pike beam, that gives us enough for the breach missile if we ever need to use it. And uh, now apparently, our engines Phoenix is very good at taking care of the engine skill. You're doing great, Phoenix Wings. Ainon Mayo is increasingly becoming an amazing pilot. All right, onward. A few freighters pass by but refuse all communications. Must not want to sully their reputation by talking with foreigners. Thank you. That sounds like a terrible plan. I'd like to have a little more... Oh, intruders on board. Where are they beaming in? Oh, they're rock intruders there. And so... They have a lot of health, so we're really going to have to... Now, in Phoenix, you are going... losing health very rapidly. And... Oh, and they're attacking us. I didn't even notice they were attacking us. Alright then. In that case... Let's hit their shields. And then... Go from... like that. That's what I want to do. And Phoenix, let's send you over there. And let's hack their... Um, no, do we need to hack? I don't know if we need to hack. Let's see. Temporarily drain charge from enemy weapons. Temporarily reduce enemy ship's evasion to zero. Let's go ahead and hack because we can, and uh, just reduce their evasion to zero when we get there. And uh, let's, uh, let's cut our own engines very slightly and put that into the med bay so that we can be healing up our people who are in bad shape. Um. Yeah. Should I take it or should I wipe them out? 
That's the question here. They're only one hit away, but I'd rather not deal with them too much longer, but uh, I'm not going to accept it. And let's see. Well, they got hit anyway by an asteroid, and that's taken care of. Leave. Yeah, we got more of everything for that. And let's uh, send people in to deal with them. And still keep an eye on health here. Because our intruders are not going to leave us alone. Keep an eye on beef stew there. Okay, so... Phoenix wings get you back to the engine room, scoops to there. Heal everyone up. And then return our crew to saved positions as soon as scoops is all healed. And jump. Let's head over to this store now because we have a little more scrap. With the local rock settlement so unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic mantis crew has postponed its piracy activities and set up shop to catch any passing trade. Now, and some of these crew members already have good skills, too, now that we're here. I don't know if we need more crew members right now, although it's always good to have more crew, I think. Oh, you finally let Thing One have Cars Toys on the phone. <laughs> well, hopefully he will actually pass out and go to sleep. They have really good shield skills, but let's see. Let's buy stuff because why not? And fix our one hole and jump on away. We need to get these people we're escorting over to that. Uh, Curious Sight greets you at this beacon. A disabled rock freighter drifts in space while two mantis craft battle it out, presumably over who deserves the spoils. Wait, then attack the surviving mantis? Yeah, you know, let's do it. The mantis craft may have their differences, but when it comes to you, they are of one mind. The smaller ship suffers a power failure as it moves to engage, but the larger one lets off a volley of fire and moves into attack. Okay, then. Let's give ourselves uh, I kind of want to use the breach missile and but it takes how long does it take to charge? I forget. Emmet, <coughs> child, please. <coughs> hey. Trying to do a show here. You don't need to bark at stuff, okay? <laughs> hmm. uh, let's not mess with that right now. Let's not mess with what we've got going on. Let's throw our extra power into the med bay just in case we need it. And child, please. Do not make me splash you with water or something like that, because I know that you don't care for that. And hit shield systems um, hack teleport systems because I don't want to deal with that business and pike beam across as much as we can like this and as soon as, let's see, temporarily take control of the enemy teleporter returning crew to the ship. Let's do that, because I don't want to deal with their crap. Ah, curses. Hit shields again.
We don't have too long to actually deactivate there. Yeah, now we've got them back here again. Go handle that guy. Um, actually, I can teleport him back, I think, because I have another disruption ready. And hit shields again, and then slash across their systems again. Oh, and I missed, so... Shields are really just hanging in there. There we go. Three fuel, two missiles, 38 scrap. And let's send Turing in to repair the med bay. Seven seconds what? Phoenix wings? We may have taken a bit too long about this and we may when we go to the... Uh, when we go to our... Exit, we may be having to fight our way back through, which is not going to be a good time. Oh, they have super shields and we can't hack until their super shields are down. Okay. Entirely. Oh, and now our hacking system is down entirely. So let's send in O'Regan. No, I think O'Regan's repair is bad. Scoops is slow. Stu's manning weapons, Phoenix is fixing engines, we don't want our shields to be unmanned. Well, I guess it's Scoops, just because... No, nah, no, it's O'Regan, even if his repair is not great. Because I really want to have our systems available. the best thing I can do. Mm, yeah. Hit weapons again. With the missile this time, though. I like that Scoops is putting out a fire by just jumping on it, because they're fireproof. Come in here and help fix this, I guess, over again. We only need one more hit. Oregon is a mantis, yeah, like the mantis aliens. And uh, one missile, one drone part, 38 scrap. Contact the civilian ship. It's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright. I'd like to help you like you helped me. They offered to install a piece of equipment on your ship. A flak gun Mark II. Okay. Now, everything is basically in order, but people do need to be healed up, so... Return to stations. Phoenix, you get in there and heal up. Yeah. 
and return to stations. So that flak cannon does what? Fires a blast of debris across a random area doing up to 7 damage. Good at taking down shields but hard to aim. Required power 3, charge time 21 seconds, which reminds me, charge time 22 seconds. Ooh, that's pretty bad. That's twice the Artemis charge time. But it does have, do more damage and it has a high breach chance, which is good. Shots per charge, 7. Hmm... Well, okay then. I think we need more weapons, more power, and uh, yeah, let's save the rest of our scrap for now. I know Mayo is apparently an excellent pilot, and Phoenix Wings is very, very close to being, like, the best at engines. <laughs> so... Alright, let's jump onward to our quest location. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer you a reward. Three fuel, one missile, and 57 scrap. Very good. You are awesome, Phoenix Wings. So awesome. <laughs> Let's give ourselves more weapons power, because I think that's what I want to be focused on right now, so that we have the option to also be charging either Breach or Flak. Let's try charging our breach next time, but um, no, we still don't have quite enough power for that. We need to buy more power as soon as possible, so okay, this is going to be tight. We're going to be in the warning zone as soon as we get to that exit, I think, but we're going to make it. Small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. Heavy ion cannon. 26 scrap, and that yeah, I don't really... I'm, I'll probably sell that the next time we come to a... A, sh a, a shop. A, sh a store shop. A store shop, a shore, a stop. You know, that thing. And... Let's put on our breach missile for now. And, uh... We're going into the warning zone, so this could be bad. Yeah, okay. Artemis shields. Let us aim our breach for... Hmm. There. You know, also shields. Let's do that. And then, as soon as shields are damaged enough that we can get through, let's hit from weapons on up to piloting through their clone bay. And let's launch a hacking drone at their oxygen system. And begin disruption ability. And actually we want to undo our pike beam until we can get into their shields again. Because we missed. Now we can do that. Let's see. Give us Artemis 2 mm, weapons, I think. Aim another. Br well, let's save the breach and actually deactivate breach and switch to flak. Flak cannon. Hit with the pike beam across this way next time it's charged. And when flak is charged, we will hit, like, this general area with that. And we've got some fires in their weapon systems. That should distract them a little bit. There we go. I like it. Now, 
There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. You must jump away before cruisers get in firing range. We get one fuel and jump to the next sector. Which, uh, let's go to the engine controlled one. <laughs> Stop! In the name of love. You arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Oh, and I didn't even realize we had a fire in there with you, Phoenix. Uh, it looks like you're probably handling it. Yeah. And then we'll send you over to fix the... Who's the best at repairing, actually? Is anyone the best at repairing? You're the best at repairing, apparently, Phoenix. <laughs> like, of everyone on the ship. We'll send you over to repair the med bay, and then we will power it up and heal up your wounds. There we go. And jump. You really are super awesome, Phoenix. A small research station orbits a nearby pulsar. It appears largely abandoned, but you detect power signatures flaring up as soon as you're in scanning distance. A small combat ship launches from the station. Pirates. Looks like they've got a pretty tight setup going on here. Let's see. Let's hack their drone system, maybe? Hmm. Or should we hack shields? and then focus on it doing as much damage as we can while shields are down. Let's do that. And also Artemis to the shields. And let's power up our flak as well, I think. And pike across as much as we possibly can. And... Oh dear. Border drone. And we've got a breach in there. Okay, so how do we deal with the border drone? It has a lot of health. It has as much health as our rock guy Scoops. Um, let's send Scoops in there to help deal with it. And, uh... Oh dear. Our shield systems are damaged. As soon as the flak is handled, let's hit on centered on the weapon systems. Border drone taken care of. I hope they can fix that breach. Um yeah, we'll take that offer, sure. Okay, you guys get to the med bay. Deactivate our flat cannon and activate the med bay. We're gonna send Phoenix in to fix that since you have the best repair skill. And send you into there. This ion pulse is not gonna do us any harm. Just will temporarily knock down, knock out systems. Well, let's send you back and send Turing in, and then return everyone to stations and jump on away. Let's go up here. We really are running along tonight. We're almost an hour over already. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you or else it is trying to avoid notice. Eh, let's hail him, sure. Slug ship jumps into the system. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport and now they found you instead. All right then. Well, our shield systems are still damaged by the ion, but let's hit their shield systems. Activate our flak, I think. Deactivate that so we have enough to restore. And then 
We'll go with just a straight cut across since I think that's the most useful. And Flak will center on their weapon systems as soon as that's charged. Send over a hacking system to hit their shields, I think, because I want to focus on that. Oh, if we missed with our missile, too. Okay. Let's not do it until we've got... Okay. You're not in red, what do you mean, Phoenix? Um. Uh, let's now hit shields again. Go with a pike beam up like this, I think, this time. Flak centered once again on, on, on shields this time. Oh no, you're not in red. <laughs> if so, you would be the most useful red shirt that has ever lived. But the... There we go. Two missiles, one drone part, 53 scrap, wow. And then the refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Two fuel, one drone part, 28 scrap. Lovely. We need some repairs. We really do. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think I need to pour more into weapons right now. I do think I should pour more into shields. And then I'll need more power as soon as we can get more power. Actually, let's put that into shields when we're not using our next weapon. And, uh... A store, good. We don't have much scrap, but maybe there's something in our bay that we can sell. Oh yeah, we can sell this heavy ion cannon. I kind of like the flak gun actually. We've not been using the breach missile much, but let's see. Let's fix as much as we can of our hull damage, because that, I think, is most important. And... Yeah, we're, we're not doing too bad there. We're down six, but... Distress beacon, okay. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Send crew to help. We might lose a crew member if we do this. Uh, mm -hmm, let's risk it. Oh, we lost Turing, which is a bummer. Because Turing was our shield guy. Well, apparently... O'Regan is now our shield guy, because <laughs> it was a risk. We knew it was a risk when we made the choice. Don't have anything to do at that store, so let's just, because I don't have any scraps, so let's just go this way. You arrive at Zoltan's research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis, sleep, and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Why not? Nope. As soon as you dock, pirates burst on board and the hostile ship appears on the radar. You hear the Zoltan's yell in the distance. We're being held hostage. Because of course. So, oh, and this is a hacking ship that... Like a pirate hacker ship. They don't actually have a hacking system, though. But it they've got a lot of systems. And they're a big ship. Yeah. Alas, poor Turing. <laughs> um, yeah, let's 
shields, hit shields. Hmm. Let's... In fact, let's hack shields as well, and then, as soon as the pike beam is charged, we'll direct where we want to fire that. Oh, and we have Zoltan in here. Let's actually send scoops, and I hate to have leave our shields unmanned, but we need to take care of these people. Okay, now that we've got that, let's hit as much as we possibly can. Which, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. I want to hit those systems, so. And direct another missile at shields. We want to keep that down as much as possible. we will need to power up. There we go. Three fuel, one drone part, 45 scrap. Two more fuel. Thank you for rescuing us. They held us hostage to ambush unsuspecting passersby. Please take this. Two more fuel, one missile, 30 scrap, and a combat drone, which we can sell at our next opportunity. We need more power. Um, Let's see. In fact, I'm going to buy one more power. I'm going to jump. We've got. Mm, is there anything? Is everybody. Oh, we need to power this back up because they weren't done healing. I forgot about that. And back to your saved positions, except O'Regan, you are now. Shield Master General. And then let's power up maybe Breach for the next thing that we have to face. This distress signal, this distress beacon worries me. You arrived at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress, distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive or else something of value. <coughs> Value, pardon me, left on board. Board the station. Your away team reports a wounded NG and a functioning drone schematic. Then someone yells, the station reactor is overloading and they're running out of time. Save the NG. Now, oh, we lost beef stew. But the NG who was saved offers to join your crew. And, uh... That Kirby is a shield person. So let's send back our... Okay, so who now takes over as our weapons specialist? Because it's either Scoops or O'Regan, I think. O'Regan, I guess we're sending you. You're now the weapons specialist. Poor O'Regan, he's jack of all trades, master of none. Except fighting. Pretty good at fighting. Because he's a mantis. Kirby has shield skills. And I believe NG also have the... Their repair speed is doubled, yeah, so... We have that going for us, if we need it. And... We should be thinking about more upgrades, too, probably. I do kind of want the greater hacking abilities. Let's upgrade hacking. And we'll need to apply more power to hacking when we are going to use it, but we'll worry about that as we go. Let's not go to... Well, let's go to that store because we do have something to sell, I believe. 
An engine ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of an equipment necessary for engine upgrade. And let's sell this combat drone that I'm never going to use. And let's go buy ourselves a little more power. And then buy... Uh, let's focus on fixing up our hull, I think. Even easy in this game is not the easiest thing ever, I will have you know. This, even though we are playing on easy, it is definitely not a cakewalk. And to our exit. You arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A nearby space station hails you. Greetings, your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. I don't really need the extra drone parts, and I'd rather be higher on fuel, so... Let's go ahead and jump to the next sector, the Zoltan Homeworlds. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when you ideas Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. Let's just start making our way over towards the exit. You pick up a Zoltan life raft floating in space. Its inhabitant asks you to retake his ship from the pirates who recently commandeered it. I'm certain it is clear he concludes that you must not destroy my vessel in the process. Um, I don't have the means to not destroy your vessel, probably. So, I am not sure I can help you. Yeah, I don't think I can help you. because I'm not going to be able to deal with that sort of thing with the equipment that I have. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FDL travel. We did this once and intruders on board again. Here we are. Oh, and that's a big ship too. Well, let's send in a couple of people to fight those people that are invading. I hate leaving those systems unmanned, but... We're going to fire Breach at the shields, Artemis at the shields. We're going to hack the shields. And then we'll worry about the pike beam as soon as that is dealt with. Oh, and they've sent more people over, huh? Well... Let's see if we can hurt them. Phoenix better get you out of there. Oregon can last a little longer. Drain those shields. Oh boy. again. Pike beam, let's go like... Mm, we can do better than that. Let's see. Yeah, that's more like it. I like that. Breach missile also at shields, I think. Actually, no. Let's deactivate breach and go to flak. And focus that in on... Uh, Let's go ahead and just focus it on shields like everything else. And... We need to power up our... Uh, let's take slightly more so we can be healing Phoenix and Oregon up because they're in bad shape. Artemis to... Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it hits, but let's go ahead and hit their weapons. And 
and hopefully this guy will just suffocate. I think that's... Okay, one fuel, one missile, and 51 scrap. And one fuel, and two missiles, and 32 scrap, and a defense drone mark too. Thank you for rescuing us, they held us hostage. Okay, so close all doors. As soon as we have some oxygen coming back, we'll return. Oh, should I put more into hacking? I think I might. I think I'm going to do that, and then we'll buy more power as soon as possible. We need to have... Let's actually send Kirby and Phoenix in to more quickly repair the engines since we don't want to hang around too long return to stations and let's go ahead and put that energy back into the engines for now wait for our oxygen to recoup a little bit Let's see, we should also probably be thinking about upgrading our engines again as soon as we can. I'm going to call 95% oxygen good to move on. Got another distress beacon here. You arrived to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but it would be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. 35 scrap, two missiles, and one drone part. Alright, so let's get ourselves some more power. And... Let's save the rest for now. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Let's repair. Mm, no, because we only have like two damage. I don't want to spend that much scrap for that. We're not in that bad of a situation. So let's go to this distress beacon instead. Ship emitting the distress beacon messages you. Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel and can't get out of this barren sector. Could you help us out? Mm, it's a lot of fuel, but yeah. Thank you so much. We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. Your map is updated. Well, that's not really useful to me. I wish I had not done that. Oh well. Let's go ahead, since we have a little extra time before the rebels catch up. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Hail them. And, of course... Okay, then. Let us send our hacking drone. Oh, they're super shields again. I forgot about that. And so we'll just focus in on shields, save our pike beam up, and then hopefully we can get hacking. Oh, and Kirby should return to return to stations. Wait, where did Kirby what Kirby went to shields. O'Regan went to weapons. So and actually, I think I want to have Kirby go fix that as quickly as possible in case we need it during this fight. Just that one more in there. There we go. Flack into there and...
Let's see if the flak can do us some good here. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Awesome. And now we have to send you back to... Okay, three fuel, two missiles, 58 scrap. And then 33 more scrap and more missiles and drone part. Refugee ship thanks you for your assistance as a gesture of goodwill. Yeah, okay. So, go and fix the med bay again. And then we'll have to heal scoops up a bit. Scoops, get in there so we can power that up. And awesome. Now go back to your place and we will... Let's see... should we be upgrading now other than just power which we definitely need mm, let's upgrade power as long as we have the ability to so we can have everything powered at the moment that we have power for and jump to our exit so we can move on to the next sector thing two woke up and thing two thing one won't go back to bed oh no i'm sorry You've arrived at the end. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms in the area. Inquire about their specialty. Uh, I wish I had the scrap, but I do not. Um, let's stay out of the nebula. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass. And we've read that message before. Let's go to the store because I think we have a thing or two to sell, and that will be... Yeah, this defense drone Mark II we're not going to use. And, let's see... Let's... Before we buy anything, let's look at our upgrade setup here, and... I think we'll get more out of fixing our hull, buying some fuel, um, buying some missiles probably, yeah. And that should do us for here and for now. Yeah, let's do the swing around here. ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Well, let's hack their shields and fire on their shields. again. Hit the shields again as soon as Artemis is charged. There we go. Three fuel, a missile, 63 scrap. Wow. I will take that. And I will pump it straight into our engine upgrade, which we will depower our med bay for the moment to use. I've just realized it's probably actually better right now if I am over here on this side, because that way you can see the more important systems 
<laughs> so I'm going to put myself over there. And let's, yeah, loop around into here like this. A message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting, likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad you don't have the time to visit. Distress beacon. Your jump interrupts a Zoltan security ship as it follows a mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message you, your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. Interfere and help the Zoltan ship, maybe? I don't think they're going to want me to interfere, but whatever. You overtake the Zoltan and catch up with the Mantis ship in the asteroid belt. Time to make some friends. Maybe. Somehow, I do have my doubts about that, but we will see. Let's go for Breach instead and focus that in. Hack there. Um... Let's hack the teleporter so that if they send anybody over here, we can send him back. Yep, sure enough. And keep focusing in on that shield system here. Now I want to pike all over the place as much as possible. I might be able to get a little bit better than that if I go on just... Yeah, that's fine, sure. No, wait, I'm still missing this room. I need to get just that room, so, okay. And let's see if... Good. They got taken out so I didn't have to use any more missiles. They got taken out by a uh, thing. As you're salvaging the Mantis Wreck, the Zoltan Security Patrol returns with three other ships. You quickly salvage what you can and set off before they can stop you for questioning. Two missiles, one drone part, 38 scrap. Jump on, down this way, because we might as well. We have the fuel for it. You arrive at a Zoltan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, this is the first time it hasn't been, like, a trap, basically. Your crew calmly lines up with the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. 34 scrap. And let's use that 34 scrap to buy another bit of power so that we can power up our med bay just in case we need it. Jump on over to here. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here. Please, you're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Okay, then. Let's go Artemis shields. Breach shields. Send our hacking drone to hit their teleporter, because I hate that crap. Nope, get out. I do not want it. Okay, now... back in here anyway and I can't re I don't have recharge yet on my uh, thing to disrupt them and send them back mm. I kind of want to wait oh never mind I don't kind of want to wait there we go Three fuel, one drone part, 61 scrap. Okay. 
that means you know, we've got quite a ways to go before we can upgrade our shields again, but I really want to... Well, let's just save our scrap for the moment and get moving on. And actually, let's heal up Scoops a little bit first. I didn't want to open that door. Send him back in. Jump up here. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across this sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves in to attack. Alright, Phoenix, good luck getting the things down, and hopefully you'll get back before the show ends. I'm sorry we're running so long tonight, but I didn't want to cut this short, so... Best of luck. very quiet all of a sudden because this is getting tense. Maximum damage here. I think I'm gonna do from the back corner here over like this. And we're running out of missiles fast. Just because I need
Okay. Well, we survived that. That was tight. We have more missiles because of what they gave us. Let's see. Oh, oh, this is going to be tight, but I've got to go to this store. I've got to go to this store. Okay, fix all, first of all. Sell, do we have anything to sell? No. And I don't want drones. I don't really know that I want any weapons, but let's see. Hmm, that halberd beam might be good. Let's see. It's only slightly slower than the pike beam and it does more damage. It requires more power though. Let's get everything back the way I had it. And... Hacking stun. All crew inside a room during a hacking pulse will be stunned for the duration. Hmm. That makes us set to go. No. As set as we will be, anyway, under the circumstances. Let's try going this way for a while, because that's the best setup I think we've got. Jump onto the exit. Oh good, more scrap. That gives me more power. I'm going to take um, all the power I have left, basically, so that I can be prepared when I start upgrading other stuff. Alright, to the last stand it is. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Turzel of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. And... Let's see. We need to get to the rebel flagship. signatures for only a small trade vessel. However, as it approaches, you see the silhouette of a rebel scout. You run the scanners again and discover their registration is fake. You move into attack. Okay. Hit that shield. And then ready the halberd beam, I guess. Missile charge is so slow. Oh boy. Ugh. I don't know if we can actually do this. Oh, and this halberd beam is short, too. Okay, well... I've made some mistakes, I think, but... Huh. 
Oh, really? Just perfect timing. I'm gonna send a hacking drone to hit their shields and make sure that we... Okay, never mind. And let's just... Open these up to get rid of this fire, because I don't want to deal with it at the moment. Close all doors on the ship. Um, I don't know that we need to upgrade oxygen. It might be better to save up for better upgrades. waiting on repairs now. Get everything back in working order. We really need more weapons systems too, I think, but... Mm. Everyone is where they need to be. down there to repair, I think. We're taking risks here, but if the destruction in the distance is almost awe-inspiring, however you're dragged back to reality as sensors indicate you're under attack. Because of course we are. Hit shields. Hack shields. not going to be easy. Punch into those shields. Oh, we missed. Really? Well, I'm going to disrupt with our Okay, so how best to do this? this, I think. Let's keep punching them. There we go. 34 scrap. weapons. At least that gives me the Artemis. That doesn't give me much, but it gives me a little more. Let's hit up this repair location. Nine hull points repaired, and more fuel missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Okay. Let's see. Rebels have control of this location. Very dangerous. Well, it's the fastest way back, though. Or up. 
You think they're down, Phoenix Wings? I certainly hope so. I hope they stay down. I'm sorry we're running so long tonight, but I really, really want to take care of this game. We're in the final sector of the game, and I mean we're playing on easy, so it's a little easier for us to get here. Um, I don't know if I trust going into this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. Cruisers in the distance are firing on you, so that's not good, but... Hit shields with both of our missiles. Hack shields as well. And prepare the halberd beam since we can do as much damage as possible with it. So where do I want to hit with the halberd beam exactly? And how best to do real damage with it? Like this, maybe? Yeah, I think that's good. I think we missed with that breach missile like we have almost every time. I'm actually going to switch off the breach and switch to flak now, I think. Let's center it on weapons, I think. Aim our next halberd shot. Same way we did before. Another Artemis two shields, because I want to really keep them down on that. There we go. Let's be on our way. Yeah, we've got to get to where the base is so before the flagship gets there. As soon as you arrive at the beacon, a rebel scout turns to engage. Power up weapons! Uh-oh, we've got a breach in this room. Um, it's not vital that we repair that, but it is absolutely vital that we repair oxygen systems, especially when we have a breach. So, I guess we don't have someone manning shields right now, send... Go hack their shields. Aim the Artemis at shields, aim the Flak at shields. I did say to go hack shields, did I not? Maybe they have an anti-drone anti system. Oh, and repair that while you're there if you can without getting yourself hurt. Let's go ahead and see how much damage we can do. I really want to hit... Um, can I... if I do it from this corner... Oh, maybe a tiny bit lower. This beam is so, so short. Yeah, just barely. Okay. And flak again. Let's go ahead and just drain the power from shields. Ugh, they, I didn't do it soon enough, and I think we... Oh, boy. Shields again. Halberd's about to be charged. Um, I made it stretch before, didn't I? To hit all of those. Exactly where do I start to do that? Just like that. Oh, Kirby. Get out of there, Kirby. We'll have to send someone else in to fix that, because... Oh, no, wait. Is the oxygen good? Yeah, we're good. So, as soon as that's repaired, Kirby will be safe, and then we can send scoops in here, too, to heal up. Oh, 
we need to hit another research or repair station, not research. Um, we can only get one more in weapons, and that wouldn't let us use our breach as well anyway, so we should, I think, be focusing into shields and such. We're also pretty low on available power overall in general, so... Well, let's put it into... Hmm. You know what, let's save it for the... Mm, no, I don't want to save it because if we get in a fight in the next one... I want the dodge chance. So, let's take that dodge chance, and that's all the power we can get, so. And we're pretty low, we're halfway down on hull, so we better hope that we can deal with this. Hack shields as well. Aim at shields with the flak once it charges up. Save the halberd beam until we are actually ready to... Alright, so... Hit all systems with that beam as soon as we can. And the flak, come on take him down maybe yes there we go that wasn't too bad lots of scrap um, I mean we don't have more power if we wanted to use more power we would have to actually get uh, well uh, we can deactivate the med bay when it's not in use so uh, we're just one scrap away from getting that Ugh. Well, let's see. What is most useful to us? That is not that, because if we had one more scrap, we could get that, and that would be really useful to have that added dodge chance. You know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go take on the rebel flagship, and this is the boss of the game, guys. This is the rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. No turning back now. I don't know that I believe it, but let's see. Oh, and they're cloaked. How do we even deal with that? Ugh, and they're also hacking our sensors. And I can't aim at anything. Okay, so... Breach to... Shields. Artemis to shields. Hacking to shields. They've got a lot of shields, so we want to get it down. Hacking's down. We need... There might be a fire in hacking as well, yeah. Put it out and repair that system as quickly as possible, because we need that. We really need that. And 
Can I punch through enough to like do some damage while it's here? Because I do have a little bit of... Sure, we'll... I can punch through a little, but not much. Ugh, stop cloaking. Okay, now... Oh boy, there are systems we've got to get somebody in there to fix the oxygen. Oh, I bet that just started fires there. Oh, we're we're so close to this, you guys. We're so so close. cloaking again. That's our last missile, I believe. But then if we hit cloaking, we can slash across with a halberd beam and that'll do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, halberd beam. Charge right up. Charge up. Charge up. Charge up. Oh, we're, our ship's so on fire. We're so on fire. We beat the flagship. We're so on fire, but we beat the flagship. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me right now. Oh, boy. We've got fires, too. Get in there and stomp out the fire. Oh, what am I doing? This fire... get to the med bay and we're out of missiles we're out of missiles <laughs> we're screwed at this point because we have no missiles so there's like nothing we can do even once we even if we make it to wherever the flagship went we're out of missiles <laughs> And we're real low on hull. Okay, everybody back to positions, I guess. I don't know what we do now. We're out of missiles. We have flak. I guess I forgot about that. That can... maybe. Maybe. I don't see it, though. Ugh, and we're... Yeah, we're not, I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're stuck, but you chase down the flagship, discover it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it is directed at considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. Um, okay. We've got to focus in on shields. That's what we have to do. And we've got to hack. Oh boy. And they've got boarding. Okay, as soon as possible I need to hit this, like, how can I do the most damage? Probably like this. God, before shields come back, come on. Now we did a little damage, but we're in bad shape over here. 
and Kirby has got to go to... No, stop opening the door. Kirby has to go to the med bay. Get a Regan in there to deal with that. It's breached, but... Oh, we're in bad shape. Oh, we're in very bad shape. I think we've just got to do what we can here. No, let's not do it like that. Let's do it right down the middle, I guess, of that section. Our hole is in really bad shape. We need Kirby go in and fix the blast doors. Oh, we can get in there. Heal up a little. Oh, all the drones! So many drones! Kirby, go fix the sensors. Ah, we're done. Okay, well... <laughs> we ran almost... Almost two hours over. And we finally died at the flagship. I wonder if it would have jumped away again, even if we had gotten it that time. Even on easy, this game is so, so intense. But... All right, that is the show. Thank you for joining me for tonight's Cyber Crash, which was unexpectedly a Cyber Crash Cascade, apparently, even though we didn't use that intro. I've been David Zane Aarons. If you enjoy the show, you can follow me on social media at, at David Z. Aarons on Twitter and Facebook.com slash Cyber Crash Show. You can tune in. Oh, what day is it? I don't even remember anymore. It's Wednesday. You can tune in on Friday. <laughs> tune in on Friday when we will be playing probably some... Chrono Trigger, and I, I've been strongly considering Chrono Trigger as our next story-based game that we do in the opening half of the show, and we'll see what we do in the second half of the show. I suppose that I should uh, switch out to our outro now, and uh, regular streams are always Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings from 5 to 8 Mountain Time. For U.S. viewers, that's 4 to 7 Pacific, 6 to 9 Central, 7 to 10 Eastern. International viewers, that's currently UTC 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and you can figure it out from there. VODs will be archived for newcomers and slackers over at youtube.com slash user slash cybercrash show. If you like this live content, I may also post some scripted content on that channel, reviews, reactions, and so on at some point. Subscribe if you hang out on YouTube. Comment if you have something to say. Our break music is Blue, Square, Blue Squares Please by A and Mono. You can find them at aandmono.bandcamp.com. We use that track under a Creative Commons license. And you should check it out. If, there's, if you like their stuff, you might like to pick up some of their work and pay for them. I'm David Zane Aarons, and until next time, this has been Cyber Crash. So zoom out, breathe out, and live like you mean it. Thanks for watching.